Uh, we're winding down here. I think day four is tomorrow. It'll be our, our final. Day four is always a very day short day. Day four is not even really a day. Uh, oh, but I'm Josh Napolsky. I'm Paul Miller. I'm Neil Patel. And uh, we're, of course, here to talk about the ongoing. We're the ongoing. Uh, oh, and Kelly, I'm sorry. And Kelly Pickler is here as well. Special guest. Special guest Kelly She's Pickler. Not, Kelly doesn't say a lot. It's best to just let, let her. I was saying that this poster, you Kelly, can't see it. what's your favorite gadget? No. 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 She likes to speak through songs. She speaks with her songs, exactly. <laughs> Anyhow, but uh, we're obviously here to talk about the uh, goings ons. The comings and goings. The comings and goings of CES. Leavings. And, and, Stings. and, and I think that um, we're, at the, we're at the tail end of this show. There was no news today, is basically what we're trying uh, to say. No, I mean, there was, uh, like no, a there was one piece you did, we of did, news. When Matias came by, we should talk about that real quick. We had, you want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. just uh, this we'll talk much. About that. Uh, so, Matias Duarte from Google who apparently loves us, Yeah, uh, came by, and we love him back, of course, uh, came by the trailer to do an interview. A live, he did a live interview, uh, as you guys know. I don't yeah. know why I'm telling you, but I'm telling these people. Uh, did a live interview and uh, announced they were doing a kind of a concurrent press release, but he announced that they've now issued a proper style guide for Andrew. Uh, and, Andrew. Andrew. For Android. Andrew has been, I mean, <laughs> Andrew was so sloppy. Of, it's a bit of a slop. You know, Andrew, he like, it was like mismatched. <laughs> yeah. The wrong shirt. Two different the socks. Wrong pants. Yeah, two different shoes. Yeah, brown shoes, black like belt. One Come on, sock, Andrew. One sock with a mismatched shoe over here. What You know, yeah. anyhow. Uh, no, but they, they issued an official style guide for ICS for Android 4.0. Yeah. And uh, it's design stuff. It's code stuff. They want to try to unify apps. For developers. Are they going to like enforce this stuff, or is it just there? No, he, they're not. They're not going to enforce it. Yeah. But I think that the vibe is going to be like, these you, are the best apps. We, well, we're now telling you. Yeah. You now actually know. I mean, he even said that. You know, it's like he, he's like even just telling people that there are guidelines is mm-hmm. helpful because we've been. I mean, basically, it's like we're just riffing this whole time. Yeah. Well, I mean, which is Google's thing. They love to riff. <laughs> if you if you look at Apple's apps, just noodling like, all day long. They're noodling. They're yeah. basically they're basically Van Halen, in between shows. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, I mean, Eddie, just, I mean Eddie Van Halen, not the whole band. The whole band noodling away. Really just, <laughs> bass, that's what, the the bass guitar, noodling. drums, and bass. Yeah. I have the keys. And then Sam, Sammy Hagar or David Lee Roth just, just, just moving constantly. their hair back, just trying to keep their hair out of their face. Paul looks disgusted Wrong decade, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, he's like, what's Van Halen? <laughs> What's a Van how, Halen? How about how about NSYNC? They're NSYNC good. doesn't noodle. Could you, could you give me an NSYNC noodling? Reference? Yeah, Justin Timberlake. Just, uh, just doing vocal just solos. Just doing vocal <laughs> solos. Uh, like like Joey Fatone. Yeah. Was he in that band? Was he in no, 98 I think that's Degrees? Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys. Oh, can't help. Just do that. doing vocal percussion. <laughs> all who's day the long. guy? Who's the guy with the dreadlocks? Oh, that, no, there's one of those. Jason Castro. <laughs> he's, a, he's just a he's just an American. <laughs> Jason Castro, American Idol. <laughs> Another American Idol finals. Kelly knows him. No, but I, I am excited about these. I actually was looking through them. They're like very helpful. No, and they're beautifully laid Wait, out. I thought you said I was really excited about these guys. Like the <laughs> these various guys members sync. of Insync. Insync, they're very helpful. <laughs> they can they can go. They have the full uh, range. Yeah. They can go multiple octaves. Yeah, anything you need. No, but the the, the style guide is actually. It does seem really helpful at well, a glance. And, and there's there's good like general design principles as yeah. well. And and there's there's little things like like you know reward the user for like accomplishing something like make a give a little glow or something like yeah. that uh, and you know have simple instructions for how to do things and and we we prefer if you swipe this sort of item and sort of, and I, I just think it, it, it just by tell it's just by saying it out loud it should make it a lot easier for developers I, I to just give people a very consistent even if it's not just aesthetic it's it's functionality i think for a beginning or a new developer even one that is sort of new to the a, mm-hmm. a developer that's new to the the os um, having this stuff there is going to make it easier to just go well you know what i don't have to invent this on my own and if you don't have to invent it on your own you can paint in the lines yeah. mm-hmm. it's a lot of, you can just make your app Right, and I think that like one well, yeah, of the things, and, and Apple has really strong guidelines. Microsoft has really, really yeah. strong guidelines. Actually. Well, they could be stronger. They don't seem that strong to me. Well, they're, they're there's guidelines. a lot of really heinous Microsoft. Beautiful uh, Windows, phone, Windows, Windows Phone apps. Oh, Windows Phone. Oh yeah, you know Windows. Forget it. Right. I mean, that's yeah. like well, that's I, design I, disaster. To, to be honest, say. I feel yeah. like there's more of the apps I use day to day. More of them are ugly on iOS than on on the Mac desktop specifically. Well, like well, <laughs> Game Center made by Apple. I mean, you know, like who Apple uses Game Center first off. Well, you. I mean, most of the good like high high. Uh, but you open Game the Center. The AAA titles. Uh, like but you're are opening Game Center, being like, what, what are yeah. my friends doing? Well, I gotta um, manage my friends list. Game Center is like. Enormously, what ugly, you, like well, no, and, and, and so what I'm saying is like Apple. Okay, Apple is one like, example. Give no, me but Apple's example. introduced the. Oh no, God, guys, L zero zero. I don't think you know how to work Shoot. that crate. I don't think you know how to work that clock. 
Yeah. It just now says L00 yeah. after five minutes. I think also, that means we have to just keep going indefinitely. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, but, but what other apps do you use on iOS that are ugly? I'm curious. Wow, you really stumped here. Yeah, I'm really do, stumped. You do use iOS. Pull it up. I don't know. I just I feel like since Apple started doing those like no, wait, those you know what, visual you know things, thing it started getting a lot uglier on iOS. We're gonna it used to out. be a little vanilla. Let me see what you have on your home screen. This is interesting. Fruit Ninja. That's a that's a priority application yeah. for you. Tiny Wings. No, no, that's not on your first screen. Go back. Hold on. Oh, that's my first. There's your first screen. It's riveting material. Now, I'm gonna tell you what Paul's priority apps are. Okay. Messages. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Calendar. We're reading the home screen. Photos. IPhone. Camera. YouTube. Really, YouTube is priority for you. You got to get in there. You just like. Oh, yeah. I get the feeling Paul's She's never had it in his home screen. Maps. No, he has I weather, notes, there. reminders. So far, it's all stock. Yeah. Simple note. There you go. Now yeah. we're getting into the good stuff. Wait. Clock. Back to regular. Um, RDO. It's a good one. Settings. It's good. I like to keep settings accessible. I'm in there all yeah, the time. Yeah. Because they make it very hard to change settings on iOS. Yeah. Right. Uh, Twitter. Twitter is an ugly app. Very ugly. I refuse to upgrade. Well, it got a lot worse. It, it's always been bad. I refuse to upgrade to the new Twitter. There's never, been, there's never been a good Twitter app in, uh, Ever. Since, since Tweety. Yeah. And, oh, no, 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 no. I mean, there have been good, I mean, native, like yeah. they're native. Uh, music, stock, and Audible. And then you've also got uh, phone, mail, Safari, and ESV Study Plus, which I, I think is. A, some kind of religious application. It's a study Bible. It's, what does ESV stand for? Uh, the English Standard Version. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. And then I'm not even going to get to the second page, but so you're talking like almost pure stock here. And I mean, what's ugly there? RDO is a nice looking app. So I guess app. Game Center is my, I, I just feel like every once in a while I end up in an app, maybe I don't keep using it, that looks ugly because they got inspired by Apple's horrible. But I think um, that's like a, you know, I will say this. You don't like folders, do you? No, I don't like folders. Can, can Everything's we, exposed. I just love that we're just studying Paul Street. No, no, it's interesting. It's interesting to look at what people are doing. Oh, here's a... It, <laughs> mostly stock Scrabble, apps. Scrabble with friends. Scrabble. That's pretty bad. No, Have you seen this new Zynga game? No, this, no. this is not entertaining. No, that is no, not. That is I, don't, I, guess, I guess I made a bad example. I yes. just hate Game Center. That's it. Okay, well, we all hate Game Center. Yeah. No yeah. one's disagreeing with you on that. I think iOS apps are... They're, they're, there's like almost freedom to like experiment with UI on iOS. Well, but the, but people know what ugly apps are and they know what beautiful apps are. Right. And there's none of that on Android because there's no sense of here's at least a standard. I think we'll see reviews in Android market mm. where users are like they follow the guidelines. It's a good app. Right. And I, that the pressure and, to follow the guidelines will come. And, and I, I also think I also think there's a, there's motifs that are valuable in in the new version of Android that are very yeah. will be very useful. The swiping stuff is really useful. They and, put you know, it they're doing the theme. You have to have the Halo theme right. to get market. So these apps will is be Is it called Halo? Work. It's called Hollow. 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 The, Halo. the Halo theme is actually a Halo, Halo theme. theme. is like a, a <laughs> helmet. And, no, but, but, but the, um, you know, they added that one, a swipe to reader. Mm -hmm. And it's a very basic thing that it makes using Google Reader way more pleasurable. Because mm -hmm. now you can just like flick through yeah. your stories. Um, I think that stuff is going to come. I think once it's, it, once people start seeing, I, I think what Paul was saying is true that, that, uh, it's just useful to have the things there to say like, yeah, right. oh, this is how they want you to do it, or like, yeah, reward a user for something well, you know. It's like, oh yeah, you might not think of that, but now Google's saying mm -hmm. it's a good idea. Well, and you were grilling Matthias on this in bit in the interview. You never had this before. Yeah. And if you if you look at, uh, uh, it was obvious in their operating system they didn't have internally right. it's, consistent it's design in, language. And part of what Ice Cream Sandwich was was making all of oh, Google's and Ma apps. Matthias said they, look they exactly went through the to the same. point. They have guidelines on how apps should talk to you in text messages, like messages and dialogue boxes. Yeah. Right. I Matias mean, said we changed the voice of Android to right. be friendlier and, and more And they made it consistent right. across their own apps. Yeah. And so now that it's consistent across their own apps, that's something that they can message. Yeah, and I, I, I do hope that uh, the carriers just, and which is once again, don't ruin it. Well, which is once I mean, again why funny, I hate games. Because you know, I feel like Google, look, there, I think there are three companies where talent is real, like interface and user design talent is drawn. And I think it's uh, Apple, Google, and Facebook. I think that's where they go. I don't know exactly what's going on on Facebook. Gruber's talking about this on our show. Yeah, that people that they're are hiring alive. all this talent, but it's not showing up anywhere yet. But I don't think that I don't think there's enough talent, mm -hmm. right? I, I don't think Samsung has the same talent as well, Google. Hard, hard to, I mean, good designers are hard to find. Right. I mean, good talent is hard to find. And anywhere, so I but worry that they're they're spending all this time and energy making these guidelines, and they're just going to get blown away by I players. Think, I think partners. HCC has some really talented designers. I actually think. Yeah. You know, you may not like it, but I think Sense has presented the most it cohesive, cohesive. Yeah. It's the most cohesive skin, and I think that that given the opportunity, they could do just as good a job as 
you know, I think that their their uh, implementation is probably, you know, at the level of like what what they're trying to do. At well, Microsoft. Right. And I think good designers go to Microsoft. Well, now, those are, these are now, huge players. Sure. Well, a really optimistic spin on this is that HTC could take sense. So like, okay, we like sense how, what the way sense looks and what it actually does, but we can make the way it does what it does more consistent with the rest of the operating right. system. Now that, like, like the thing you mentioned with the swipe, like just keep their Chrome, but make the actual interactions more similar to the rest yeah, of the That'd be good. I just think that- um, That's very optimistic, but it's it would not be gonna great, happen. Great I, I mean, They're I gonna just, wanna differentiate their swipes. <laughs> I, I just think, but I- <laughs> we, we, we like people to swipe. Look, to me, look fragmentation is, is 2011. Needless swipe differentiation. Di that's di the problem. No, I think there swipes. need to be more diagonal swipes. Yeah. Actually, swipe differentiation. Then I, I have an idea for a diagonal swipe. I was talking about one on the N9. That would be very confusing. You should just it should make like a shink sound, like like a like a, a blade. Yeah. This from man who has fruit ninja on his, his home screen. Yeah. Just think um, about that. But uh, I I think oh god in heaven. But I think that uh, one day I do. Please stop that. I do think that I please stop. I uh, I do think. Yeah. Top threes, man. Yeah. It's comedy gold. It really is. That's when you, that's when you hit your stride. It's, you're not, it's not funny. Two, two and a half? No, you know, three. three. Boom. Yeah. It's if it's divisible by three, really. Yeah, so if yeah. you go up to six, double, twice yeah, as funny. Also, twice as funny. Nine, three times funny, and so on and so forth. Until you've reached the... Um, the uh, uh, what do they what do they call it? The, a, the, a prime the, number. A metric metric prime standard for a comedy. metric prime standard, standard for, for comedy. comedy. That's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, before we start bringing on the dudes, there was one other thing, one other piece of news. A Metroid Prime standard is what I meant. Sorry. It, a Metroid Prime <laughs> standard. Yeah. Still nonsensical. Sam, it's very funny. Go on. <laughs> yeah, she was hilarious. hilarious. Like, oh my god, I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny at four, is it? <laughs> no, pretty funny, actually. All right, go on. I was saying, I had a very know, serious conversation with the chairman of the FCC today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, he, we're, uh, the, we're the worst. He tells jokes no and wonder, vibes. No we wonder, love SOPA. No yeah. wonder people are tuning out in droves right now, I think, I suspect. <laughs> in my mind's eye, they are. The people are literally yeah. they're finding a knob to turn somewhere and switch it off. God, they I, need, like, some more physical way to shut this down. They're like... Tossing levers, pulling cords out. Diagonal swiping. Yeah, pushing, pushing their computer off. Actually of their getting desk. out a sword. Dude, people and are, like, people are doing this right now, and there's a garbage can that's going <laughs> right there, then walking out of the room. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, FCC. you talk to the FCC chairman, not a. Not, not no, some, the dude, the main dude. Not, so small, Julius. not some little dude. Um, I mean, was, I don't know how, what his height is, but I mean, he's not a little guy from what I can tell. No, nah, he's an average. He's also in terms he's, of he's in terms of his uh, place in the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's a, he's an important guy. Yeah, we had we had to go to him. You know, everybody else is like in the trailer in a studio. We we went to Julius. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a in a like a cloud city type scenario. Right? Yeah, it's like a floating palace. No, we actually met him in the bar <laughs> at Encore. So. <laughs> Not really cloud city. Just work on my sixth uh, whiskey soda. Just come on in and I'll <laughs> Look, tell you what's what. <laughs> I got some ideas about wireless. Like, Let me tell you something. Reddit. Uh, <laughs> I'm into it. No, he was he was in the middle of meetings. We just met him and we had a really interesting conversation about Reddit. We he actually did, opened yeah, with Reddit. No, but he, he knows Reddit. Which he I knows think Reddit. Is he actually told me after the interviews, like I read it all the time, and I laugh and I ask his. I For asked the lols, right? I, he's like, <laughs> I love gifts. Uh, and no, I asked his aide. I was like, does he really read Reddit? And he was, she was like, yeah. And that's really yeah, interesting to, to meet. Uh, yeah. Reddit is on this new kick. Of, like they were trying to get John Stewart to know about Reddit. Yeah. Or, and or to know about SOPA, and like he hadn't heard of SOPA. And uh, I think it's interesting that, uh, you know, obviously, well, obviously, Julie, you, obviously the FCC guy is going yeah. to have heard of SOPA, but like the whole thing of Reddit kind of going insane about SOPA is not just that they care you a know, lot, I will but, say, they're, but they're worried um, people don't know about it. And apparently people don't know about it. So I hear about it constantly on the internet. I'm almost sick of it, but a Red, lot of people no, Reddit don't know about is, it. Um, I think it's a really interesting in terms of grassroots political action and this, mm. this super dry policy stuff. but. Mm. Uh, they're really effective. And they're actually, uh, before, wow. during, during the net neutrality yeah. stuff, mm. uh, a group of Reddit users started an actual political action committee that they were gonna call Reddit Pack. Mm. And you know, Reddit was like, we can't, we're a publication, you know, we're, we can't do this. Mm. But they're spinning off. I mean, like, are they a publication? I mean, it's all user Well, they're Condé Nast. I mean, they can't like be right. running a pack that's affiliated. It's with odd, them. isn't but it? But their yeah. users are spinning off like actual effective lobbying organizations mm -hmm. to do things. And it's all coming out of you know, to get more more laws to get more laws in, uh, in our government spaces. But it, you know, I asked him. I was like, "Does this affect you?" Like, for for us, I think I'm, I'm with Paul. Like, to me, it's like a lot of 
fury on the internet and like right. once you're exposed to this much it's anger, like i get it i get it so all the bad. time yeah it's bad yeah. i get it please god get back to the gift. i've lost right. everyone i love thanks to reddit outrage <laughs> <laughs> uh, i haven't seen a good gift you know, on reddit it's effective. <laughs> I've Hours. Hours. lost when, everyone when, near when the chairman of the SEC sits down and says, yes, I hear it. I know what's going on. Yeah. I hear the outcry. And then he says, he uses the language that they're using. And he said to me, we have to find well, a solution. What did he say? This is whack? No. <laughs> <laughs> the language is we can't, we, he said, we have to protect intellectual property, but we can't break the internet. Yeah. And break the internet is the Reddit language. Yeah. Right? That's the user language. Well, it's language. also like a human language for knowing that SOPA is bad news. Right. And it will just break the internet. Uh, yeah. Have I mean, you seen, by the way, uh, this is kind of a side note, but there was a story, uh, and I don't know if we picked it up, but Vice did a story um, that, that Lamar Smith, is that his name? Yeah. Who's the kind of the author of the bill? Yeah. Well, he was he was paid to be the, he was a ghostwriter for right. Hollywood. Well, he was using an uh, an unattributed creative comedy. background image, <laughs> unattributed, and like would have basically been able to yeah. be taken down if SOPA were in place, based on well, based on this. the Vice article. You I'd should read to, it. I have to see it. They've since removed it. Yeah, I, I think we're going to cover it tomorrow. But I think SOPA they're changing. They're trying to change the provisions of it. They're trying to drop the DNS part, right? Yeah. They're trying to make it less heinous, is what you're saying. But it's still bad. Um, sure. And then, but so we, we talked about that, and you know, it sounds like he uh, he can't really come out and say it, but it's he was, he basically intimated that he he thinks it's a bad idea. What do you think Obama thinks about SOPA? I don't know. Um, what do you think about what Obama thinks about I think that? he was talking to Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie about it just recently. And what did they say, do you think? I think they hate it. <laughs> Brad Pitt was like, I was on Reddit last night. <laughs> I'll tell you, they hate Brad Pitt. And Obama was like, you mad, bro? I don't know a lot about, uh, well, I'm sure they I'm sure they have secret Reddit profiles and they all know each other. Yeah, dude, I want to know Julia Shonikowski's Reddit um, profile. And then, and then Angelina Jolie was, was standing <laughs> standing beside Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was sitting on the computer. She was looking around no, the corner. Like we're all, no, but wait a second. We're actually, all just acting no, out no, no, Reddit wait, 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 now. Wait, this is getting actually, extremely weird. No, no, there was, in, I was reading Last Weekly uh, last week, which I do every week because it's my favorite printed publication. Right. Uh, and wait, can I can I tell a story about you and no. us weekly? Whatever so you want. no. What are you going to tell? The trailer story. What happened with Joanna? No. You wanna, I don't want to expose that. No. Let's just hold that for yeah, another time. Keep that time. on the DL. Just just wait until that rides out. OK. All I know is that Joanna got an email from no, somebody. No, 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 no. And no, no, all no, you no, said, no, I didn't tell you what I was. All I know is Josh exclaimed loudly, one of the greatest mysteries of my life has been cracked. Can I just and say And they something? talked about it for like five minutes. Can I just say something? And it something? was all about Us Weekly. If you ever have a secret or something you want to keep <laughs> private, don't tell me like That's not Pell. a secret. Like, like let's man say, is let's a, say Josh. Is a, the greatest is, mystery well, of your life let, is Let's say secret. Josh leans over to you and says, hey, this is the greatest mystery of my life. Yeah, don't tell that to Neil. Like, don't tell to Neil. Like like yeah. Don't show. share any important information with him. I'm a reporter. Are you? Yeah. I can't tell. Uh, <laughs> but there was in, in Us Weekly a few weeks ago, there was a quote from Angelina Jolie, and she was saying how her and Brad Pitt like tried to shop on Amazon, and they like got super confused <laughs> and put it down. And she's like, I'll just stick to catalogs. Wow. Like literally admitting to not knowing how to use Amazon. Why so, you? so you, so we're all making a joke about Brad Pitt's, you know, sitting behind Obama while he's checking out Reddit, mm -hmm. which you know I'm sure happens. Yeah, right. but constantly. Brad Pitt doesn't know how to use Reddit. I assure right. you. <laughs> okay, I Obama bet. does though. Yeah. Obama's into Reddit. <laughs> Super into Reddit. I have no idea. But. No, he's like still reading Dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what? Is that, is that a diss? I don't know. Kevin Rose quit, right? I'm not going to get in trouble with that. Oh, it's a dig. I got really confused. <laughs> for I don't know. It was weird. Was that, is that a dig? Yeah. On dig? Uh, is dig still around? I think we I should know. bring on some other people. I don't know. Oh, should we? <laughs> <laughs> Am I just, I just the tone of the room? Is going, I'm sorry. I don't read dig anymore. Is that wrong? No. Harsh, bro. Al, I'm just saying I'm, I don't like reading it anymore. Dig, Brian. I can say whatever I want. Which I'm one of you is first? So here's what we're going to do. All right. So we have the on entire that sour, team. On that dark, sour, yeah. hater yeah. note. Have I created, have I said something horrible? You, you created what a beef. What do these guys you think? You created a beef. What, what is Ustream saying right now Kevin about Rose my comment? Kevin Rose isn't even at Dig. He's fine. Well, no, but there he are doesn't other, read there Dig are other people there, engineers working hard yeah. to make Dig a better product. Feeding their families. And I just diss them. Yeah. All right, I'll start reading Dig again. I take it back. <laughs> Sorry. They want him to talk about pizza? Why? Mm, oh, gosh. Did you do like no, a Domino's Instagram no, or something? No. <laughs> Okay, we did have like 55 Domino's pizzas delivered to our yeah, trailer yeah. tonight. No, and on purpose, that's the crazy thing. It wasn't a gag. Yeah, it was very strange. Um, so what we were going to do is because this is our, we don't have a lot of news. No. That was it. That was all the news. <laughs> what is the can whispering we, about? 
we strike Kelly? Oh Why are gosh. people whispering back Stop there? Stop whispering. Like you got Kelly. a problem? I think they're doing a very good job. Although, it's even, I think okay. the show I dig thing was a big, big flaw. They were kind of on yeah. a roll, but they Wait, just, Chad, are you mad because you dig? Are you upset about are you? Dig? Are you like sabotaging You're like, dude, I'm a major <laughs> dig contributor. <laughs> I'm always oh, digging yeah. stuff. I invested in yeah. dig. <laughs> I am a visa, dig <laughs> VC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what, what, what are you trying to tell us? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, yeah. oh, you know, we're just doing a show. Doing a show. Okay, fine. We're doing so, oh, 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 <laughs> guys, 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 <laughs> guys, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> chill out. Chad and what, Jason are what, what do you want from us move. in this? Like, I could be like this. Yeah. Should, I be, should I be like? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see it. <laughs> Jay, a lot just, of pressure, Jason. I'm gonna do this. Better be off. Do this. Oh my what? god, oh. what are you doing? This I don't know. Gonna, I'm glad that you're gonna get your own animated <laughs> gift now. I'm happy. So we can stop I can stop seeing the one of me rubbing the galaxy to You're gonna see that, that one again. I know. Those are these two are gonna be combined. <laughs> you know what, come floating <laughs> behind you. That was a pretty good camera move. You're gonna be flying awesome. through the air. Okay. So All what right. we wanna do is okay. <laughs> We're going to we're going to ask Kelly to move. Kelly, and we're going to bring on because we're getting close to the end of the show. And right. Tomorrow night, some people are leaving tomorrow. Some of our team. Yeah. So we're going to bring on whoever we've got here. We've got a large number of our team in the room. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have everybody, but we have a bunch of. Uh, so we're going to bring them out and talk to them for a minute, talk about what they saw at the show, and introduce you guys to them. And it's going to be awesome. And yeah, we're going to love it. And they're all in an order, right? You guys are good. Not exactly. So who's coming first? We'll do it live. Who is this? Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> Nathan, are you first? All right, so this is Nathan Ingram. Yeah. There you go. Hello, everybody. All right, so All right. Nathan, Nathan nobody knows who you are. Where are you from? Did you say, what do, what do we got? What do we got? What's going on? Ready? Let's What's go. Let's do it. Uh, Nathan, kind of no, Nathan's a new member of our team. Which is the same way you're from. Yeah, Nathan. So yeah, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Whoa. And, uh, and do you think Whoa. that you've got what it takes to win tonight's competition? <laughs> I, certainly, <laughs> I certainly hope so. Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, what's your, what is, so what is your, where does your trick going to be? My, my what? Talk here. Do that. My trick? <laughs> is going to be best thing at CES that I saw, Fujifilm X Pro One. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. is that upside down? Is that upside down? You know what? The thing about the Fujifilm X Pro One is that it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. Which way? There we go. So yeah, Fujifilm wow, X Pro One. Look how oh, high tech we are. Yeah, that is an amazing camera. Look at that. Move. Um, it's a good move. Try doing this. Hey, like, what else? What have you seen? What else have you seen here that you enjoyed? Uh, let's see the Samsung TVs, the OLED 55 inch, pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Is it's, that the picture of you standing in front of a screen and crying? <laughs> no, I'm. In, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you should go to our Tumblr. It's this is the verge at tumblr.com. There's a really great pic, picture yeah. of Nathan. He's just like he looks emotionally distraught at whatever he's standing. It was standing pretty in front disturbing. Of. It was pretty disturbing. What were you looking at? That was when we were doing the smart interactions where you could like uh, wave in front of the TV and talk to it. High TV, TV turns on. Yeah. But the TV turns on like 20 minutes. Later. It takes forever. Like high TV, and then you go I, you the wait other room and it and takes forever. TV, I'm getting a coffee. Yeah. 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 It's I'll not. Right it's not it's great. Yeah. It's not okay. Great. Worst thing. Worst thing. So, Droid Max, Droid Four. Ooh. Not because the devices wow. are actually Rough. bad, Rough. but because I really dislike the whole culture of like, let's put out a device and then put out a slight iterative upgrade three months later and screw everyone else. Well, just I have some it. good news for you. Wow, somebody, somebody, somebody brought a Droid Three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I brought a Droid. This is droid for Joanna. <laughs> this is for Joanna. Uh, well, they said they're going to release less devices. So that's what I like you. to hear. Thanks for stalling innovation because you're a yeah. baby and you can't <laughs> yeah. buy a new device. Hey, what about Ziegler's posts with the giant, ridiculous HTC 40 phones and you know, three months thing? We asked HTC about that. What they like, say? Oh, there was a, that's cool. Yeah. Every, right. every phone. They're like, you person. shamed us into uh, into thinking about making less phones. Yeah, but right. we're not going to do it. All right, get out of here. <laughs> All right, go. All right, guys. Nathan, great, great job. Okay. Love your love your performance. Thank Are you leaving that? Yeah. Who do we have next? Who's coming next? Who we got? Who wants to come? Maybe someone can bring like a cleaning cloth for that. Yeah. David Pierce. This is David Pierce. Or as I know him on Twitter, Pierce David. That's, yeah. that's also My least me. favorite of all Twitter names. Yeah, you're like one of, you're, David's like a <laughs> David's like, like a, a what? main product reviewer for the Yeah, he's not you just a schmuck man. like Nathan. Yeah, who are these guys? He's not just a Nathan type. <laughs> David, uh, David's famous for the Spiro review. Yes. The most disturbing review video it's ever posted on our David site. David Pierce has uh, been with us for some time now. It's got to be at least two weeks, three weeks. And uh, I don't go in the office that much. Uh, David, I understand that you have uh, something you want to tell us. I, I do. Weird. Are you going to tell Your us? I can't. Now? It's not, I'm not ready. <laughs> what, 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 what have you seen at the show? What do you like? So the what thing I like, I liked all the cameras, but they all stole my other things. Uh, so I like the. You're like, the, I love the Fuji. Oh. You're all allowed to like the same thing. Yeah, you can no. say you like the same thing. No. You don't have to be original. I liked yeah. Parrot's Zeke Bluetooth headphones. 
they're like the coolest Bluetooth headphones ever. So what? they sound awesome, but you can they also have like this crazy tech inside. So you just like move your finger up to make the volume go up. Wait, on the headphones? On or the headphone, head? literally like oh. on. Oh, it's like a ear. capacitive surface or something. Yeah, and you like flick it forward to change, and it has NFC, so, so you, you can you just like, like you're like doing this. Wait, why head? do you need people NFC are gonna think something's definitely wrong? To pair it with your phone. It so the idea is not that you would adjust the volume here, which is normal, or pair the phone down here. No, you literally so you put on the headphones. You hold the phone to your head. Yes. And then you so it's like I don't wait, see wait, wait, wait. You hold the phone to your head to pair it. Yeah, you literally just bludgeon yourself in the head, and then it's paired. I love that. It's amazing. You just go like that? Yeah. No, you would love that's that. That's what he said. No, that was literally no, no, no. the guy's demo. More, he was like, we you need just... more like tactile interfaces. You love it's, that. It can't be all like a single, single little touch. Yeah. I, I can't be constrained to a 2D plane. You know, what, what, what haven't you liked here? So, oh, no, hold on, wait. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're letting that go, I can't be constrained to a 2D plane. <laughs> a poem uh, by, by Paul, Paul Miller. Paul that's Miller. right. <laughs> uh, the full text will be on Tumblr later in the <laughs> Oh, capacitive touch screen. <laughs> <laughs> you may know no bounds. Yeah. I don't know, something like that. Why am I That's in this beautiful. prison? Yeah. Of Yo, have you ever heard of a Z-axis? <laughs> Wow, so you're, you're doing poetry like, slam now? Just like a beat. Wow. Just like a beat I, I have to say, with the hair <laughs> and the glasses and then the poetry slam, it's yeah. all coming together. Yeah. It's working Very for Ginsburg. me. You yeah. have discovered an identity. Holy, oh my, the Paul Miller I knew like six months ago. I yeah. like it. I like this new yeah. Paul Miller. Loose, funky, yeah. you yeah. know, dark. We don't know what's going to happen. Still loves robots. Might shiv you, might do a poem. Hard to say. David, what's your least favorite thing you've seen? Uh, the, well, Basically all of ViewSonic's tablets, but especially wow. the new wow. Wow. E70. And to our partner ViewSonic, we <laughs> apologize. Uh, David is no longer with the Verge. But, uh, no, no, so I'm ViewSonic kidding, makes these like inexpensive tablets for like people who don't want to spend five hundred dollars on them. Go ahead, iPad. you can say it for poor people. For <laughs> That's really nice of you to sure. say. And wow. no, literally Horrible. the the. the Rep I'm talking Horrible. to goes, we really see this as a family's third or fourth tablet. And I was like, <laughs> 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 and so, and like, we'll be, we're going to level with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no one's going to buy this. Ever. We, 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 we think there's a market <laughs> for, we don't, we just tablet. don't know what it is <laughs> and we're not serving it. Yeah. Right. And, and we're not serving it. That's what I just said. But they are serving it. Oh, we're serving the one that we don't know. We don't know exists. <laughs> no, th third or fourth tablet in the family. And yeah, and so they were like, that kid. That kid's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> I mean, what a just the one like, you, you don't iPad, like. That iPad, much. iPad, iPad. You got a view Sonic. <laughs> you got the ninety nine dollar view Sonic. Do you know? Do know, they tell you like what happened to the? I remember when I was like a kid, view Sonic was like a fairly respectable like monitor company. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, but that's all they did. Yeah, that's all I'll they did. What happened? And they, they started, made like really good monitors. They started making picture frames. And then it was all down. And it was all downhill from there. Yeah. They, they still got, they got hooked on the easy money. <laughs> what is that hand motion you're doing? This? What does that mean? Chad. Chad. Wrap it up. Are you, you want to wrap it up? Cool oh, David, I'm sorry. Chad doesn't think you're interested oh, enough to, be, okay. to have a go conversation. Go with back us. to the ViewSonic so booth where you belong. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're gonna, I think we're going to take a quick break. We're going to check out. Oh, I don't know. I thought that's why you were doing this. You want me to move on with David? I was having an interesting conversation. I thought you wanted to take a break. You're the worst director in the world. <laughs> All right, let's bring somebody else up. Uh, false alarm. We're not going. Sorry, David. You, we could have had a great conversation, but Chad hates your guts. <laughs> David goes, it was fun as he storms off. All right. Raymond. Raymond, get out here. Sit down. Yeah. Hey, guys. Now, what is your Team Fortress name? Uh, it is Ray Monster. Yeah, Ray Monster, <laughs> which I really like a lot. That's good. Tell us a little about yourself. I am 19 years old. Uh -huh. I'm from Houston, Texas. Really, you're from Houston? Yeah. yeah. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's in Texas. That's, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> that's big. Definitely. It's big hat country. Yeah, pretty big much. Big hat country. Yeah, hat, huge hats. Down hat there. and oil. What do they call the hats? The big hats? The multi-gallon. Ten, ten, ten Multi-gallon hats. hats. Multi -gallon. <laughs> uh, so you're you're from Houston, and what do you do? What do you do for us? Can you tell us? Because um, I've never met you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've ever had a conversation. I, I am just a lowly intern. I yeah, but you're like Chad specific. Intern. I'm Chad's Lily. Chad, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> sure. We can talk to Raymond all we want, but David Pierce, <laughs> get out of here. That's why you wanted to get him off to get Raymond up here. So uh, best and worst. Best and worst. All right, uh, my best. I had the Lytro camera. Ooh, that's Light a good one. Camera. Ooh, yeah, yes. it's pretty crazy. It's, it's pretty much the closest thing we How have. How many mega rays is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's called. It is. Yeah, it's a mega ray. It's a Me mega ray. It's good for it's you. Mega, mega rays. That should be your new thing. That, that'll be my By new team. By the way, Mega Ray is an excellent that'll team fortress name. Oh, Mega Ray is good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe right. I'll Perfect. use that one tonight. Wait, you're saying it's the closest thing to it's what? It's the closest thing to magic. Really? I, I feel oh. like. I mean, 
That's you take a picture. I think it's the closest thing to enhance. No. 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 no, no, no. no. Well, it is because you can point at a picture. It is, it is magical. No, no, it's I can't pretty wait magical. to get you up here, Sam. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just is, you wait, buddy. It is. Are you are now? Are you a fan of magic? Are you like a Harry Potter fan, or what, what's going on with that? Uh, you not, play Magic the Gathering. I do. You do. I used to. Really? What do you play not now? Not well. What about now? Uh, I I don't play anything. What do you do in your downtime? Like for for, for to relax? I, your... I play Tetris. Just yes. Tetris. Old school. Do you play Tetris, friends? Yeah. This is I, seriously. I, I used oh to play God. competitively. Yeah. Oh God. Competitively. What's yeah. your What's your forty line sprint time? What What do you <laughs> do all day? No, Why is, do you know all this no, no, vocabulary? No, 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 I don't this know. This is like This is like when we're like, where's Paul? <laughs> yeah, yeah, 40, yeah. 40 line Forty line sprint. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. What? Yeah. Forty line sprint. <laughs> yeah. Forty line sprint. That's where Paul uh, is. I think. I that's think where that's Paul. Like, is. There's a whole world of 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 of, of haircuts <laughs> and slam poetry that I just don't understand. Hey, hey, what's your forty line sprint? Uh, like Come on, two, bro. Two, three Just, minutes, something like that. How much uh, do you bench? Not that. No. What? Not good for you? <laughs> not, not, a lot. Not, not a lot. <laughs> I'm around like 130. I, I play Tetris, not a lot. <laughs> worst, uh, worst thing you've seen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the toasty, the M Robo, the toast, the oh, Justin man. Bieber Robo. Oh, wow. Bieber, 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 Bieber bot. You yeah, don't like Bieber that? Bot. Going after Stern hard. <laughs> well, it's not nothing against Bieber, but oh, you robot, like Bieber. I love Bieber. Really? Who doesn't? Bieber. You love Bieber. You know, you're on, you know you're on video <laughs> saying that, right? That's it. On Bieber loves no. Bieber loves you. Bieber loves me. Bieber, Bieber, Bieber. If you ask Justin Bieber if he loves you, he'll tell you that he does. Well, no, you have to like kind of goad him into it. If you watch the video, Joanna's like, "Do you love me? <laughs> Do you love me?" He's like, "I'm gonna get. I'm going to get murdered." <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I love you, crazy lady. Get ready for me. <laughs> All right, Raymond. Well, thank you very much yeah. for coming out here. Thank excellent you. job. You don't have to listen. An to excellent that. job. Yeah, you don't have to take anything from him. Unless there he tells you to wrap it up, in which case, just do it. Yeah, just do it every time. All right, who's next? Who's, who's coming next? out here? Let's go, Dante. Dante, everyone, let's give him a round of. We should be. Why are we yeah, applauding? Everybody yeah. clap. Woo! Well, like, I know. I know. Like, you, you suddenly you get the. Yeah. You get the I deserve it. Dante, what's, what's up with you? I'm clapping for Raymond. Where are you from originally? From New York. Nice. Yeah. yeah Sounds so nice. I named it twice. It's, it's true. It, it really is. It really is nice, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Where in New York? <laughs> Manhattan, Lower Manhattan. Oh yeah, that's the real deal. You're not messing yeah. around. No. No, I'm not. Dante will shiv you. He will. <laughs> he will cut you. <laughs> I took him to an iHome meeting today, and he was like, "Give me the docs." What's going on? What's what's that? Get the mic closer. Get the mic yeah. closer. Sorry about that. And really project. Okay, I'm gonna okay. project. All right. Okay, so best thing. what best thing you've seen? So we saw the uh, cubelets. Which is really Paul's gonna like this. Oh, yeah. It's like robots. They're like these little cubes, and yeah, you. Do you have a photo queued up here? I, I don't unfortunately. He's just holding no, the iPad. Like imagine cubes and they. What is that fit iPad together? Doing? Take that away. Yeah, let's it, get rid yeah, of it. Give me this. Hey, uh, Chad or somebody, take. Well, what has do? photos of other people? No, no, no. No, no, it's not. No, wait. Throw this on the so, ground. Some cubelets. Uh, so these little cubes that you connect together, they you can just make a whole like mess of them. Do whatever you want, and each one is a sensor one. There's another one that kind of reads your input. So it's is this like a modular we saw? Where is block. this from? Was right. this developed at MIT? No, this okay, is... Because uh, we saw something like this a few years ago. Yeah, it's like this is like a modular robot thing, and it's okay. for, for children. And is it like self? Is it like a self-replicating, self-building? What does it do? <laughs> That'd be pretty great. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> just like, uh, does it, uh, will it create miniature versions of itself that create <laughs> miniature versions of, of itself? Version 2.0. Yeah. yeah I'm sure. They use like tiny um, plastic printers to... All right, got it. <laughs> Uh, it actually <laughs> my new psych band, tiny plastic critters. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, like you could just connect these without even really thinking about it, and you get like one that drives, one that uses your hand, and you could kind of push it, push it around without you even touching it. Oh god, uh, it's that pretty great. Awesome. Uh, we have video of it on the site, right? We don't. What? <laughs> oh wow. Well, what happened there? Get out of here. Yeah, please leave. <laughs> wait, wait, why? Why don't we have video? We were micless, and we were stuck on the oh, noisy no. booth floor. Let's go back tomorrow. And the you uh, know, man, let me tell you something, okay? <laughs> When you see something awesome on the floor, it's no excuses. You go get because you know what's going to happen now. Everybody's watching this. They're going to mm -hmm. go. They're going to go take right. a picture yeah. of it tomorrow. Take a video of it tomorrow, and you're going to be late to the game. That's you blew true. it, buddy. Uh, I blew it. All right, worst what's the thing. worst thing you see? <laughs> so the worst thing was Fisher Price's uh, portable. I'm going to berate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be happy until everybody's crying. I'm totally used to this. This is what Josh is like every day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lot of fun. Uh, a lot yeah. of life lessons. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't work for Josh. Look, we've <laughs> life lesson number look, one. We've goaded Paul into being a Tetris addict. That's all you need to know. Yeah, 40 line uh, sprint. <laughs> Go ahead. So, so the worst thing. It's one of the plastic, tiny plastic printer songs. Uh, 40 line, line sprint. sprint. Yeah. yeah. It's like a lo major jam. Yeah. Major jam session. Sorry, Dante. No, no problem. So, really want to get to the worst thing. I'm so excited yeah, I about want it. You too. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Fisher Price has this. Oh, a toy company. <laughs> you're going after a toy company. I gotta hear. I saw some Matchbox cars that <laughs> suck. Yeah, you're right. You're like, Disney, Disney made a backpack that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Go after we're, we're burn Fisher there. Price, man. We're you almost got there. It. Here we go. Right, so it's right, a this portable. Way. It's a play tough portable DVR for preschoolers. And like, <laughs> and it has, You're like, I hate preschool kids. They don't deserve this. Wait, it's a DVR exactly. for for my like, kids. It has this little plastic dock, and you plug it into your set top box, and you plug in this little like Game Boy esque sort of thing. And you like set up your recordings, and then when you go on the road, like you give it to your kid and make him like throw it around, and like it'll be fine. It has a capacitive screen. It sounds kind of cool. Yeah, no, like, everything you've said sounds, sounds awesome. Right. <laughs> like I was considering making this my best product because uh -huh. I like the idea, but it's uh, it just kind of fails. Like it's just it's hideous. Uh, the screen is like bad. So and, it's like, torture for children. It, it's just it's it, you have to like crouch Are you over. Are to put a Reddit display on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and like imagine if you're at, you're at your TV and you have to like crouch over and like plug in the like DVR setting. No, but your child's so you're very small. Mm -hmm. No, no, your no, children don't do it. The parents no, no, do but it. he's saying you got to like hook it up to your DVR. Does it have an IR blaster? You hook it into your set-top box. Oh, it your set-top box. But like you can't control it with a remote or anything. You have to like control it while it's in the dock. It like sounds, it does sound terrible. Like yeah. it's just, it's a cool idea. Like it needs to be improved a bit. It needs to be incubated. And it comes yeah. in pink, which well, is like pink and black. when we look back on it 20 years from now and start circumventing, it's going to be so cool. We'll be like, dude, look at the sound you can make. <laughs> you put two of these together. In like, close proximity. In like 20 years, we're going to have kids working at The Verge who like played with the, uh, the Play Tough DVR. And that's like why they're working for us can now. Can you imagine yeah. The Verge in 20 years? Mm -hmm. No, I, so I feel like, I, by the way, looks, looks far down the road. I immediately flashed to myself with like a cane, <laughs> with like gray hair, but I wouldn't be that old. You'd be old. like 60, the tops. Younger than that. Yeah, yeah, like, no, I'm saying like 20 no, years like, we could jerk. We, we, could call him, we could call him 60 tops. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On that note. Hey, what's your 40 line sprint time? <laughs> I, it doesn't look like I run, I'm gonna be honest. No, no, play no, Tetris. Tetris, Tetris. 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 Like Tetris, oh, Tetris, I don't play Tetris either. So okay. Tetris? All right, get out of here. Yeah, no, Thanks, Andre. Right. Round of applause for him. Right. Very nice, very well done. Andre. All right, who's, who's coming up next? Oh my God. Who is it? Is it the chef man? Oh, oh, oh. oh my God, it is Seven Seven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Now settle down. Now first off, is that a Gantt jacket? No, this is uh, Ben Sherman. Ben Sherman, all right, please leave. I bought this Get out of here. No, no, fine. Take that mic. Did you bring me back in? I want. Can I just? Talk, I want to talk about Sam for a second. I want to say, first off, so pleased that Sam's with us. Because Sam's back. Sam's back. He just finished school, so congratulations on graduating. Very nicely done. You. Uh, oh, thanks. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Keep that up there. No, no keep it up so there. Awkward. Do you know, you sit up straight. Sit up straight. There you go. Everything right, about what you're doing right now is like having a street top on right. the 50s. No, 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 I know. He's like, what? <laughs> you want that to be? He's gonna pull out. I'm not talking to Mike. He's gonna pull out a. Uh, <laughs> A switchblade. I don't know what that was. was that? I don't. I don't. Like a okay. Okay. Can I just? Can I just explain? So no. I, I had this mustache, and I got a ton of heat for it, um, so I shaved it off. He had a pencil mustache, he, and and uh, and I didn't say this, but someone, Thomas Ricker, uh, said when Sam came into the trailer, and this Here's, is by the word way, for thing. word. This, this is word for word. None of this works because he shaved it off, and he brought I it up it himself. Still works. No, you can't. You can't rag on a guy because he brought it up himself. I'm, I want to. I want to. I want to. He's I wanna, reveling no, in this I'm, abuse. I'm letting, I'm letting he's our, enjoying this. I'm letting our reader, our readers and Paul's viewers understand right. the severity of the mustache. It was okay. bad. When, There's pictures when on he Twitter. Came in the tra there are pictures on Twitter. When he came in the trailer, Thomas Ricker said, "Who let the French pedophile in?" <laughs> <laughs> word for word, it, I, I, I was there. And by the way, uh, I, th I thought the mustache was great. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's, it's hard to see. It's <laughs> shaking. It's uh, shaking. Shake it up, guys. I'm just, I'm just naturally cool. <laughs> what is that? Was that voice was supposed to be that's a tough? This is, yeah. uh, that's Neil from Fonzie. New Jersey. Oh, you you, like, you didn't mean some toughs. Look, I, I only do Howard Stringer, okay. Freshman, and Hey, and you're, tough. Like doing the, you're doing Fonzie. Andrew Dice Clay. You're like, hey, oh. What's the oh. difference between Andrew Dice Clay and Fonzie? Uh, Andrew Dice Clay is way, way funnier. <laughs> Fair enough. Hey. Uh, and also is selling out Vegas every night. Hold on, wait a second. Yeah. He Hold can't on. not do I it. I wanted to say something about Sam. Go ahead. The thing that I like best about Sam is he makes my jeans, jeans seem baggy. Because he wears the... <laughs> it, no, but I wear tight jeans. There's no question. We all know that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, because I love the feel of tight denim on my body. I, I can <laughs> I need to but, go. But Sam... <laughs> The only thing I like better than my tight denim is someone else's tight denim on my body. Best thing from CS. Best yeah. thing from CS. Um, yeah. The Medfield phone, that prototype that well, I saw. Like that. Wow, it was just cool because like, like, that's like a prototype phone, and like not many people get to see that. Like while it's in its like super beta form, yeah. Yeah. and that chip's not – it's like 
Who knows even if it's even going to make it to market? Yeah, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I was, exactly. so I said, you know, I said today it's funny, but, but I showed, uh, I covered a phone in January of 2008. Oh, yeah, the, the, the huge the Intel. The silver, was it a silver thorn? Yeah, yeah, the huge long one. It was a long, it was, it was, like, it was just it was a like light with a sticker. It was, was this long, right. it just had a sticker on yeah. it. And they were like, this phone is set to be released in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that never happened. And they have thinner and lighter versions. It's like, yeah, sure you did, Intel. Which just goes to show how much BS there is at CES. Yeah. Should be called CBS. You know what I mean? Anyhow. It's worst worst yeah, thing. It works, doesn't right. it? Go ahead. Right, what's the worst thing? Um, the Medfield phone. No, the worst thing, it's not necessarily a gadget, but just the, the humans here that are in oh, the space. Wow. In, in just this, right, right, right now. Right now in this physical space. Yeah. You guys suck. Just there's so many people and like when you're in a rush trying to get something, they're just people like dragging their roller book bags like a on lolly the phone. Gaggers. It's just yeah, like you hate lollygaggers. Not lollygaggers, just that's it's, that's it's, lollygagging. You just described it. I just don't like people that walk slow. Lollygaggers. That's mm -hmm. the worst thing you saw at CS was people who walk slow. Yes. Well, he's from dude. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been in New York? He's on the East Coast. Yes. Walking slow is a liability. Life moves fast yeah, yeah, on yeah. the East Coast. You don't. You don't you don't be walking slow in New York, okay? You know why? A uh, uh, street hood comes along and yeah, shoots you. Uh, yeah. you switch <laughs> Anyhow, all right, get out of here. Sam Shaman, everybody. Woo! All right, yes. great. All right, now, 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 we're going to take a break. Yeah. We're going to run the uh, a new, uh, is this the new version? Uh, uh, we have an update to our, um, yeah. to our kind of behind the scenes stuff we've been doing. We're going to run that. We'll be back with more of our awesome, amazing, beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful, talented, intelligent, and very funny staff. Yes. So, so stay tuned. Get up at five in the morning, stagger, dazed down to the trailer, and then just begin, you know, there's a flood of nude. Yeah, CS takes over the entire industry, and because we cover the industry so thoroughly, it takes over our entire site. You know, it's really our biggest event of the year. It's like the Super Bowl, you know, it's just total insanity for a week straight. We should request interviews with people that we think would be significant or interesting to get our hands on because we'll have a setup at the trailer. Please say a command. We think it's really important to not just see the products, but to hear from the people who are making those products. It's a mandate to ourselves to capture those stories. We're really good at taking a lot of information, making it presentable, making it readable, and still showing you what's important. What really is going to make the coverage great is that we have a staff, a big staff, of really smart, really talented, very sharp writers that are putting these stories together, that are building narratives out of these stories, and that can tell the stories better than anyone else in the industry. We're right, back. We're back. <laughs> I don't know if anybody caught that, but, but Nina... Nina just had a freak out. So Nina, so Nina, are you next? Because you have yeah, to sit in the well. chair. <laughs> yeah, Come back out here. Okay. Nina, Nina. Nina. Come on, Nina. Woo! Nina. Let's Come go. on. Go. Come on, Nina. 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 Nina's just so Can happy it. with us. Uh, okay, yeah. 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 You have Gaffer Tate and Diet Coke. Nina, can, can you explain the chair she situation to us? <laughs> Nina. Nina claims the chair is breaking. I'll hold the chair up for you. You're not being hazed. Just sit down on the chair. I, it's going to break. It's not going to break. Well, you have, have to hold the microphone. I did. Hi. <laughs> let me, Hi, let darling. Me, let me explain. How are you? you? So Nina Sikoler, am I saying that right? Yeah. Is yeah. our up, chief up chair here. engineer here. Oh, so. dead. What? Oh, wow. What are you adding? Uh, what oh. is our thing? Oh, this is Total Vegas. Total Vegas. Yeah. Turn around. <laughs> Go ahead. No? Hi. <laughs> um, we're here with Nina Scholar, who is uh, uh, our, uh, one of our producers, our producer, and certainly our producer for the show. She put together all the trailer stuff and all the rap stuff and food stuff and has basically been taking care of all the things She's a that are happening. Lie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, literally, we would all, it would be, so we would open the door to the trailer and there'd be a bunch of skeletons wearing, right. like, a gadget clothing. Or, Still or, desperately or, trying or, to post the hands Or on. a chair would <laughs> fall apart. <laughs> Reach, reaching for a camera. <laughs> yeah. Or a chair would fall apart and we'd die. Yeah, or or a chair would nothing would happen to it yeah, this, because this because it's amazing. possible it's possible that our uh, producer is uh, has a little phobia about some you know squeaky chairs. Just saying. I mean, you're like okay. near tears about the <laughs> you're like seriously about to start but crying. Nina has not said a word. <laughs> <laughs> Nina, She's just Nina Thank you crying. so much. How are you? Oh. She just said you couldn't hear a teary-eyed. I don't like being in front of the camera. Really a pleasure working with you, Nina. Good stuff. Nina, everybody, give her a round of applause. Wow. Bye, Nina. Wait, are you, so you telling me this, this no longer works? 
You're getting me a battery. Okay. Okay. Great. Who's next? So, so who's next? Sam Byford. Let's go. Sam Byford, who is says he's British, but lives in Japan. I don't understand how that's possible. I'm not you, it's fine. Don't worry chess. about it. By the way, if it collapsed, it would be amazing. <laughs> be the best I mean, you might break in something. Podcast but. history. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Sam. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on. Sam, tell us how a British person ends up in Japan. A British person ends up in Japan by getting kind of bored of Britain and Ooh. deciding that Japan is a wow. very comfortable place to live. Yeah. I like England. I go back every Christmas. Okay, to, but it's boring. Christmas, but it's boring. Yeah. Really? Well, you know. I mean, it's, it was once the seat of all power in the world. Mm. Yeah, and look what happened. Hey, is 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 Scotland going to secede? I don't think so. No, I think that would. I've been be hearing some buzz working. about that. Zizan? They, they like they fry chocolate in like batter in Scotland. They throw chocolate in battle. They fry chocolate in they batter. Fry. <laughs> okay, by the way, what you just heard was like you combine some sounds you heard with what you know from Braveheart. And you just went for it. Oh, that's so like, they no, throw I chocolate thought, in battle. I thought, I thought he was saying, no, I, I thought he was saying, I did think he was saying they're, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to hold their own in a battle. Because all they're doing is throwing chocolate at people. And of course, just, to, are, just to make a statement, just like, just like the French. By the way, point. two insults to the French people tonight. <laughs> One just being the person of Sam Shepard. Well, best thing you've seen. Yeah. The best thing I've seen is uh, Neil and I the other day, we went on this sort of Korean home electronics odyssey. Yeah. We went through, we saw washing machines. Yeah. yeah. But the best thing was at the LG booth, and we saw the LG, what was it called? The um, clothes manager. Yeah, like new, new, new concept styler clothes manager or, or something. It's a closet. It, it, it is a $2,000 closet. It's a super high-tech closet. Oh, my God, I need, I need a new closet. It's pretty and, uh, amazing. It has is an it embedded smart, smart closet? Smart closet. Smart closet. <laughs> it, yeah. it shakes your clothes. It has an LCD. It shakes no. your clothes. You, you can, hang up your clothes, it shakes. You oh, select, you select the aroma. Yeah, well, it seems them. Because I've been shaking them myself this whole time. <laughs> I've been doing this with the it's hanger amazing. to get the, get the arms right. You know what's right. weird about that was we went there and the guy, the demo guy, was oh super serious. He's like, this is the best closet clothes manager system ever invented. And I was like, You think your clothes have been shaking before? <laughs> yeah, we're like, you ain't seen nothing, punk. Was he, was he, uh, where was that, where's that voice from? Can you tell me? Uh, the LG booth guy. And what was that, of a, what origin is that um, voice you're doing? I, Angry dude? Uh, Angry, was he an American? Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. what you think we sound like? Don't you? Have you heard do Vlad's we? American yeah. accent? You tell me. You do. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Sam Byford, everyone. No, oh, yeah, worst oh, worst thing. thing. The clothes. Worst <laughs> the smart, thing. The worst thing. Still the Americans. No. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Wow, I guess you didn't know where you were. Mm. Made in America. Nothing here <laughs> made, is made in America. <laughs> Nothing here is made in America. The worst thing was the Polaroid smart camera. Which is everything? It's I, neither a camera nor smart. I mean, no. wait, that's right. the Android camera. It's, yeah, it's a, it's like a it's a really bad Android portable media player with a really bad camera attached, and you can like wirelessly print like Polaroids over Bluetooth to this crappy printer that attaches, and like it's not a good Android thing, and it's not a good camera, and it's just the worst thing in the world. So. Wow, wow. All right, say bye for everyone. Byford. Very nice. Thank you. Harsh words from the empire. Yeah. <laughs> From the once great empire of England. You know, you know what Sam said to Vlad earlier today? He looked at Can him you? and very sternly said, Vlad, you are not allowed to be nostalgic for the empire. He's from Bulgaria. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is racism. I think that's, that's British. I don't know if you heard. That he said he, he's, he's from not, Bulgaria. Yeah. No, I know. But who's, who's next? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying the mic. He doesn't have a King mic. King of Twitter. There. So the oh, viewers you were saying didn't say here. I was just trying to convince. Well, before we just bring, bring that water out okay. here. Tiesto's main bro. Oh it looks like you're getting $25. While you're getting water, can I, can I tell a story about clubbing with Jacob? Oh, no. <laughs> Who last night took me oh, to the club. Oh, it's cold, too. And <laughs> there's a huge line, refreshing. a massive club in Vegas. And Jacob said to me, don't worry, I'll get us in with one tweet. And then he tweeted, and we were immediately escorted into the club. Oh, wow. And they were broadcasting was, the tweet all they, over the club. I don't even understand. Yeah. He, the, the tweet was, I'll kill everyone here <laughs> yeah. if you don't let me in the club. <laughs> the tweet was, there's a bomb in the building. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Jake, so Jacob Shulman, hey, that's not funny. Uh, Jacob Shulman, and that's actually hilarious. Um, Jacob Shulman yeah. uh, has been with us a long time. Long yes. time. This is my first, uh, this is my fourth CES, actually. Wow. With us. First being 21. <laughs> well, Jacob has announced to the world. I'm that not coughing at the 21. I'm just drank the water. He's ready. <laughs> he's ready. He's ready. I'm mind. sorry. How many I'm times sorry. Have you seen TS? I'm not ready. Good at this water drinking. Jacob's once. ready now to do a Jaeger shot with you, yeah. whoever you are out there. Wait, wait. Is it just once? Yes. Because you've offered to take Jack me. Last night. 
You've offered to take me to at least three Tiesto shows. We didn't go to the... We were at the podcast. Who did you see last night? Afrojack. Not Afro Man. No. Because I got high. Apparently guy. Paris no. Hilton was there. Anyway, <laughs> continue. Is Paris Hilton A-list? She's God, dating no. Are Afro you kidding Jack. me? I'm just asking. Do you not? Do you have no sense of what an A list? No, a list means. I, this is not. I, I, think, I think this represents. I think this represents a further, you know, the, a further this sign my list. of the of the of the utter destruction of all that is good and right in the world. I'm only asking that you, before you the podcast. Me, is is Paris Hilton A list? I don't think that she is. You tell me. You, is she A list? Before the podcast, there was a heated argument amongst the entire staff. Over what constitutes a B list celebrity. No, I wasn't yeah. involved in this argument. Yeah, Paul, was involved. Paul was working on his four Paul recused yeah. himself okay, due to his B list celebrity CS. status. So uh, I checked out this uh, wearable PC. It's called the Golden Eye. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was really, I think that wearables are kind of like the next big thing after phones that we put in our I pocket. feel like people who go to CT Asto will definitely be into wearables. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But actually, the thing about it is that it doesn't actually block your line of sight. It's, it's a 0.44 inch screen that is below. So you actually look down and you see the screen, but when you're what does the looking. screen look like when you're looking at it? Is it, you're, big? You're it, it looks like a 15-inch screen. So, like, it, it looks like a real computer that you're looking at. But really? it's all gesture control that has an accelerometer in it. What's it running? Like what, it oh, runs oh, Windows oh, CE oh. embedded, and then oh. it's like, it's, but yeah, but it's not made for uh, consumers yet. It's going to come down to consumers, but for now, it's kind of for It's uh, made for spies. Yeah, it's made, it's like actually for, for it's made for enterprise for solutions. So, like, dudes, enterprise yeah, well, assassins. Well, uh, it's, it's made for a mall cop, basically. So, someone who's walking around <laughs> on a true segway. Someone who's walking around on a where all our best technology is going, mall cops. Like... Like we just created, we just created a wearable heads-up display mini <laughs> computer. <laughs> get it? It's get, trickle. It's trickle down. Okay. Get it to them in Roville Mall right now. Sorry, that's a mall in Pittsburgh. It's, it's where Dawn of the Dead was filmed. In case you're interested, the original. Sorry. No, it, it's it's really it's about letting you uh, interact with the computer. It's voice controlled and then uh, gesture controlled also, but you get to use your hands. So. They had a demo showing for like a security guard where they could kind of like look around and for see. For a mall cop. Yeah, but. Where like, he pretended he was actually, holding a real gun. So this is made for well, Paul Blart. It's actually really okay, crazy sorry, because you can. Anymore. The security guard can like pull up the cameras, security cameras nearby and control them like while they're going to the scene and basically. Oh, wow. Like, the scene of what? No, the scene of someone stealing some jelly beans from that jelly bean dispenser. There's an Orange Julius incident. Someone Quickly stole, pull up the some, camera. Someone stole a little wig from the Chick Fil A. <laughs> I have to say, the someone technology. ripped off a pair of pants from the Gap. Quick, get the heads up display on. Yeah. I mean, the technology yeah, sounds absolutely. amazing, but this application is okay. Another just the one. Worst. Maybe this will be better. Maybe. No, 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 it's, good, be better. it's good. It's good. Okay, worst it's good. thing. Oh. I think that we're just being assholes. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, it's very, it's very good. What's your, what's the worst thing? I don't really. I didn't get time to really see anything bad because I was just. Come on, you didn't pass something on the Whoa. floor. Um, dude, you, dude. Complain about the you Americans. You saw the BlackBerry P990. Okay, we could talk about the, the Porsche BlackBerry. The P990. P- it's the P apostrophe. P- yeah, the P9. 9981. The P9981. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a, there was a big debate in the whole Verge staff about whether it's, like, really cool looking or really crappy looking. And, and what, where, was, where do you fall? I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I, how neutral of you? <laughs> <laughs> how How non-opinionated is it? No, I mean, it's, it's, it's really a very striking device and it feels really good, but yeah. it's not for everyone, especially when you say or you. it's $2,000. You wouldn't buy one, buy one, would you? It's a $2,000 if, if, right if, if it were $200 on contract, would you buy one? No. Okay, so. Not when there are. Who is it for? It's for people that shop at Harrods and live in Dubai, which is where it's on sale. Wait, if somebody, if somebody gave it Well, it's on sale at Harrods and in Dubai. Yeah. Harrods That's why it's Harrods. In no, the Harrods in London in are selling du- it, oh, and then oh. they're selling it in Dubai. I was going to say, like, it's, it's available only in the Dubai If Harrods. someone gave it to you, would <laughs> you use it as a phone? If I could Jacob keep my iPhone Jacob was a resident also. BlackBerry. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. Okay. Greatest, for the longest time. If I could keep my iPhone. I would, no. I mean, yeah, I've said so much about back. But what about it's but what about the keyboard? You said it wasn't good. Yeah, you know the the 9900. It's essentially a bold at, at in the inside, and then it has this crazy like metal and glass in exterior. What does that sound like? Uh, yeah. But yeah. well, I really Ooh. I really liked your story. You went you went there uh, yesterday and got this. You kind of decided. Yeah, to write nobody some, else was getting it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you decided to write this bigger thing, and I thought it was like really original. And I liked your angle. Yeah, I got uh, to sit down with actually the the head of Rim's design team. Was so, he crying yeah. the whole time? No, he was actually just. He kind of seemed very. I don't know. Maybe he's like a little emotional. I kind of got the sense. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I have to pitch this to people. I got the I got the sense. Yo, that it's it was called the nine nine one. Do you think he, he just couldn't stop thinking about the London in the back of his head? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I got out of the meeting and after playing with it and the, the, went back and looked back at the London and like the metal and the glass like. 
It makes sense. They said they said that it was kind of more of a Porsche influence the design, and then BlackBerry kind of just provided the internals, though it was really a collaboration. All right, we got to wrap this up. Yeah. We got to move. And to the next uh, we're talking about Jacob. Great stuff. Thank you so much. Good job. All right, who's coming up next? For goodbye. Who's this? Who's this person? We, we hit our rim <laughs> quota for Welch. the year. Yeah. Welch. Yeah. We talked about Black Bear for Chris, five Chris, minutes. I wanna, I wanna That'll just question. about do it. I'll ask you a question. How do you say your last name? W E L C H? Yeah, how do yeah, you, you spell it all the time? W Chris W E L C H. <laughs> what do you say? Welch. Welch. Just like, like the that. grape juice. What, yeah, yeah. what, 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 what would be an alternative? No, I don't know. You could soften it a little bit. Like Welsh? Yeah, but but like let a little more C. What's the best thing you saw at C S? Oh. We've seen plenty of nice TVs here, uh, 4K prototypes, all sorts of uh, future technology. But as far but as far as sets that people can buy now, Panasonic has been making the best TVs. Oh for man, we're in this yeah. TV years now. Wow. Yeah. I like how you I, checked around. <laughs> you, you here to get you? Uh, Panasonic. Uh, no, but <laughs> Sony. <laughs> Sony nice. makes very nice products. Oh, yeah. you, you don't have to be yeah. nice to Sony. No, we're it's fine. We're not. Their, we're just it, in their house. But plasma is. Do I have I a Panasonic? Plasma, Plasma, Plasma still rules? Yeah, the Panasonic. I have a, I I so. have a Vieira. If I was going to buy a TV right now, it would be, a, it would be with the new Panasonic. I, I do the think that came out here. You have a Pioneer, though, so you're set for years. You have a Kuro, yeah. right? Yeah, I have a Kuro. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Why didn't I buy a Kuro when I had the opportunity? I told you. Remember, I sent you a link. I was like, they're going to you, you can yeah. buy a Panasonic. Yeah, they, exactly. you know, Panasonic I, I bought a, all the tech. I own a Panasonic. Are they making Kuro? Well, they bought all the Pioneer stuff. What are they calling them? The Vieiras. They're integrating into the line. They're not calling them Kuros anymore. I got to upgrade. Yeah. All right, what's the worst thing you've seen? Amazon.com has, for some reason, decided to support, I can't even say it. Oh, my God. You can't Ultraviolet. <laughs> Ultraviolet. One of That's the worst, the worst consumer thing. initiatives that I've really? seen. I completely disagree. I, I don't really. think it doesn't I'm seem that bad to me. What's wrong with what we have now? Pop your Pirated. digital copy into your CD-ROM and... What 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 who has a CD-ROM? Yeah, I don't have a CD. Well, your <laughs> DVD-ROM. Okay. I, <laughs> I must be old-fashioned. No, but yeah. I don't even have a drive I, on my computer. Yeah. Oh, well, MacBook Air. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you're total, Chris just totally <laughs> judged so are you. Yeah, yeah, you're against MacBook Air. You're yeah. against, like, over-the-internet digital distribution. We just we should just have disks and then copy Not off of that? Not that per se, but, I mean, Flickster.com. Who wants to handle their content through some party... No, no, but you want to go like to that. the web. You well, that's to why. Amazon. That's why we want Amazon involved. So that I Amazon think this is a much longer conversation, much longer but I respect your opinion. Thank you. I though I do, that. I also disagree with it. <laughs> and uh, you're fired, Chris. <laughs> and you're fired. No. <laughs> Chris Walsh, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. An appearance on this program. You're come, you'll come back. You're what, gonna come back, and we're gonna argue you some more. We're gonna argue this one hard. Brian Bishop. There's a whole podcast. Get out here. Do you have a nickname? We should give everybody nicknames. Bish. Nicknames. The Bish. That was the name. It was. Martin Bishop and Sneakers is that nickname Bish. Really? Yeah. Okay, Sneakers I can go with. This yeah. is the second yeah, Sneakers works. reference in two days, I think. I love I, Sneakers. I hey, really want to watch hey, that again. Too yeah. many secrets. It sounded like a cocktail party. <laughs> do, do you ever, uh, when you're, like, you're typing in your password, you think if somebody was like monitoring you and like like analyzing the sound and stuff like that? There's four figure. bridges in the Bay Area. Yeah. Oh, you mean like, Which one did it you sound mean like, like the U.S. government does cocktail party. Yeah. every cocktail party. day? Cocktail, cocktail party. party. All right. Okay. Best thing you've seen here. Ma, too. Velocity wow. Micro. That was all of the movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your and that's for your folks. enjoyment. We, we have like 40 um, more people, way, so we really should. That we, movie, can I just say, the entire plot of that movie revolved around an answering machine. So at this point, it can wait, never be made. Spoilers. <laughs> spoiler. Yeah, spoiler alert. Mati. Spoiler um, alert. Go ahead. Fish. Best thing. Uh, Velocity Micro, of all people, had a, uh, oh. a projector called The Shine, along with some other stuff they introduced, like some tablets. And I wasn't really expecting much from this little pocket projector, uh, 300 lumens. And actually had this great picture, like, you know, really contrasty image. The colors popped. And I was kind of surprised and taken by it because I was expecting not you know, a whole lot, when you we know? Were, uh, one great. of our very first meetings when we were like, well, how, let's start a new website just devolved into an argument between these two. Like a two-hour argument. Two argue, <laughs> argument over a, whether we should cover Pico projectors. Pico projectors. <laughs> and Paul was like, we need them. They're so important. He's like, this is <laughs> vital. <laughs> He's like, this is vital <laughs> to our industry. I look into the future. I'm like, you know what? They might not be that good right now, but they're going to get better. <laughs> Maybe specifically at CES 2012, they're gonna get. We're gonna hire this guy, Brian Bishop. <laughs> Paul, what, what you was, were right. Was this yeah. a, it was a Pico projector. Uh, it was a DLP. Oh. Yeah, but it was yeah. like a little guy. Oh, yeah, it was. Like, yeah, it's like about this Would big. Would you describe it as Pico? Was it very small? It was very small. How small? Yes. Describe. Show us with your hands. About four inches. You don't want to about, show. About yay. Yeah. By yay. Okay. 
and yay. Yeah, oh, that yay? Yeah, that yay? Yeah, that's that not yay. a Pico Try pajama. I don't think it's Pico. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were definitely like, man, if they do a yay by yay by yay, we're like yeah, yeah, totally yeah, yeah, into yeah, yeah. it. It's just not a Pico. <laughs> not a Pico. I mean, Let's move on. It, do they call it a Pico projector? They do not call it. Not a Pico projector. Right. No. Right. Uh, and worst thing? Uh, worst thing, uh, another display. Higher had a 22-inch uh, transparent TV. They're trying. Uh, yeah, well, in the first you're like, okay, a transparent TV, that could be cool, and like people, you can put your hand behind it, but uh, it was the most useless thing I'd ever seen. Like, they're not thinking for the living room. I'm thinking for like you know commercial uses. Small like, cops. You know, huh? Mall cops. Mall cops. Yeah. Mall cops. All, all great technology. <laughs> Wait, um, hey, cops. I'm guys. I'm switching from my heads-up display to the transparent display. But you okay, cool. I'm getting a, I'm getting a donut at it. <laughs> down the, down, down, the, down the food court and monitor the crime that's happening yeah. below him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it just didn't work. I mean, it, they had yeah, this like crime. light box behind it so you could see anything, and even then it didn't work. The colors were terrible. Um, but the good well, part about we, it. What were we expecting? Like a really. Man, you were crystal clear, high color display. No, Samsung had a really great one. It, something you know, Sam somewhat Samsung. decent. I don't know, Samsung. <laughs> not <laughs> something not really orange we're or weird. on the transparent display front. Wow. Anyhow, mm -hmm. they're building the. You VMA. said transparent, right? Transparent. Okay, I'm not hallucinating. No. I was like, <laughs> did I completely miss here? Okay, so that was, was a, a, it's a transparent Pika projector. Yeah. 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 Um, oh wait, uh, <laughs> what? Now that we would put in the database. Uh, and the back of it though was the good part because it had this like a little you know embedding or a little engraving in the back of the bezel that said the future is now. With a smiley face. Oh. And that made future, everything okay. Shipping the future's now with a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hire everyone. And thanks so Ryan, much. Let's Ryan go. Who's, who's next? Naughty. And by the way, can Naughty. I just say thank you? Of course. Can I just say, no, you go ahead. Uh, I, so I just love listening to our guys talk about yeah. technology. I mean, it, it's like everybody has this different angle. Yeah. Like I've seen the things, like, and I think, oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. But they just have, it's just fascinating to hear everybody's opinion. Yeah. But if you People's disagree opinions, with Josh, you're fired. That's yeah. right. Everyone's out. Um, who's next? Get in here. William's phone, William. everybody. William. William's so, been doing an Don't have her. Do a real clap. Unheralded. Addy, unheralded. don't just stand there. Nice hat. I don't know what that is. Um, Big claps, Addy. William Savona is. Were you Are saying, like, I have small hands, I can't clap? No, no, don't. Okay, yeah. I'm holding a blank piece William of paper. William is our database manager. So <laughs> William he's is our database doing manager. A he's a heroic job that nobody's noticed. Well, well I then, noticed. I noticed it. I don't actually notice. <laughs> Who it's are not. you? <laughs> I like, and Eli, Eli's like, you've been doing great stuff that I have been ignoring. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Other people may have seen no, it. No, but it, it's, uh, there's a lot of effort, but it just shows up as the database. I like, awesome. that bl I like that blazer. What's up with that? Can you tell me a little bit about it? Is this the best thing you've seen? This this I guess I'm just saying, William every day has like kind of, I feel like brought the hotness when it comes to his outfits. Like, like, like just some real tight, stuff feel, going on I feel here. like you, you can just, you just, decide just like some cool like he's mixing and matching patterns but it's working somehow like I feel I like you could like write half a novel in that yeah get up ride your motorcycle to a coffee shop yeah. ride back from the coffee shop fall off your motorcycle be okay yeah and then get home and finish your yeah. finish your maybe novel. add a part how does you your mind off? work <laughs> How many, hey, what's your, uh, what's your 40 line? <laughs> what <laughs> happens under that what's hair? Your four, what's your best 40 line sprint? <laughs> William, what's a 40 line sprint? Where are you at? Uh, I'm not a No, but, but, I, but uh, I, I feel like this so is. So you've seen everything at CES. Damn it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just keep moving talking on. About no, you, you give me, stop give me, sexually um, harassing our staff. I'm not sexually harassing him. You just I'm, pointed at him and you went, your clothes are so tight. I, that's I, so I, weird. That's regular <laughs> harassment. <laughs> okay. We, by the way, this is the yellingest. The yellingest podcast. You're gonna we've get ever that G sometime. No, I mean I am just losing my voice right now. All right, so you've seen. Best I want to say seen. you've seen everything. Stop talking because it goes through the database. Oh, I've seen over 450 mm -hmm. products come through our. Wow. Our, our is that how many we've added? That is yeah. Over 450, over 450 during the show. Products. Yep. Wow. That is crazy. Yep. Hey, we should we should applaud the database. Yeah. Too. The Let's database. The, the, both 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 here and away. Yeah. yeah. People have been cranking on that. That is I awesome. Think Tyler's like, actually like, I, I woke up at, right now. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. There were two database guys on. Just Adam products. No, I am worried about the um, growing cocaine habit of the database <laughs> team. I'm very concerned. All right, best so thing. best thing you've seen out of the 450. Uh, the best thing I've seen is the Steel Series Ion Bluetooth uh, controller for iOS. See, this is what Android. I'm talking about. Totally out of left field. Yeah, yeah. it's so cool. It's a, like this really sexy piece of kit. It's like it's very small. It's black and silver. Um, it's got double uh, analog sticks and yeah, uh, use a D pad. The mic. Sorry about that. Damn it, man. Uh, D pad and then your normal control buttons on the right. It's just real small. It looks so it nice. It hooks up over Bluetooth. Does it play well? Uh, I haven't actually got it. And what's, in the, my what's hands the compatibility level for that? What are we talking about? 
Uh, it doesn't actually, uh, it, it doesn't say yet whether or not it's going to be something that uh, developers have to work with to implement it to their game or not. I know but all, the only thing I know about it is that it hooks up over wireless. It's uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth to iOS. Yeah, Bluetooth I wonder, to iOS you know, and there's Android. There's been so many of these at, at the show, and I'm wondering, I think iCade is kind of the standard. I wonder right. if there's going to be a, an established standard pretty soon for these iOS peripherals. They really should do yeah, like a joystick. I, I've heard, happen. you know, I talked to, I've been talking to a lot of iOS like ecosystem vendors. And they, I've been getting the feeling that Apple's about to really push a bunch of Bluetooth stuff. Well, let, let, let's think yeah. about this. If, if Apple does this um, TV play, and you know somehow apps come to the TV, some of these iPhone apps, or maybe the iPhone yeah. or the iPad is the engine, because they can already do this with AirPlay, you know, a there controller, a Bluetooth controller suddenly. And Apple's obviously doing something with Bluetooth 4 as it's Yeah, it's, I know it's that's the right. Yes, I've been MacBook hearing a lot Air. of sort of noise about Bluetooth 4. Yeah, right. so, so, so worst thing. So, uh, yeah, worst thing. Uh, the worst thing was uh, not necessarily the worst thing, but the thing I was most excited to see and was then ultimately disappointed by was the Canon G1X. Really? G, yeah, G1X. Why is it disappointing? I'm kind of disappointed by it too, actually. Yeah. I don't uh, like the design. I'm, I'm I, like wasn't, really I wasn't a fan of the design. It didn't yeah. feel nice in the hand. Um, and it's really cool. It's an inch and a half uh, sensor on the inside of it. So that's, that's yeah. like the previous one I think was one over two eighths of an inch. It was a tiny little sensor in there. I before. like that you'd like, you're like all, all the specs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it's, it's a huge improvement. I mean, that's near APS-C size sensor inside of a yeah. nice, but I'm disappointed that you can't change the lens on it. And I'm ultimately, it just doesn't feel nice. I feel nice like Canon's mirrorless play will use that kind of sensor. Yeah. And yeah. Cause you know, not, the Nikon stuff, the mirrorless Nikons use this tiny sensor. Right. It's kind of like what's the and point? You hate us, but they're bad. They're, they're, they're bad. Yeah, David and I like we kind of tag yeah. into. And they're beautiful. Yeah. The hardware. It yeah. Looks like I'm kind of like I'm like I, I enter best. all thought about that camera like first through the when I look at it. It's like I need to want it mm -hmm. really bad, and then everything everything comes after. But well, like, obviously that's take great pictures. Yeah. Like, but like the reason I bought the GF1 was because um, I was like, oh, that's a sexy looking camera, and then oh, it turns out it takes killer photos. So I don't know. I really want to get a new. Well, I showed you that the uh, the Nikon, the white body with the pink lens, like freaked out. I do want that, but it sucks. It sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's not that good. It's not. It's not worth money. It's not worth All right, William. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, very nice. All right, who's next? We got to jam through this. We got to really. I mean, this is yeah. going to be the longest one ever. It is. Who's going awesome. next? Who is it? Tyler. Tyler, go. Tyler, yeah, baby. I don't know what that was. I don't. I'm in Vegas. Something's <laughs> happening. <laughs> hey, baby. You want to play some craps? Tyler's our new Sam Sheffer. By the way, no idea how craps are played. No, I don't either, but one time I won $1,000 just doing nothing. No way. Just standing there <laughs> like, a, like, that like is a maniac. A hum, that is a humble brag. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a real I brag. Craps are played, I won $1,000. I was super drunk in Vegas. Hashtag crazy. <laughs> that's my life. Yeah. One tweet, baby. Hashtag crazy. All right, Hashtag, Sam. that's so I crazy. I just called you Sam. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Tyler. the first time. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. Get out. <laughs> Tyler. Best Tyler. thing. Um... I'd probably have to say the iNuke Boom. I know that that's like a big Whoa. thing that everyone's talking about. You know you're going to be able to get very close, up close, yeah, personal. Yeah, you're going to get iNuke. Yes. Buy that thing tomorrow. I'm for that tomorrow. You really? That's the show. best thing, iNuke Boom. Well, I put it into the database a couple weeks ago when they first announced it, and I was like, what is this thing? And so I was, it's a gigantic I was like, speaker. Yeah, oh. and well, it's a gateway. It's a gateway <laughs> to you buying. Well, I can tell you what it is. Well, it's, we're so we're so jaded now because this is real at the CES. But I remember I was reading through news, you know, and you read a lot of crappy news, and I'm just. Story, 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 story. And then there's this boom Gigantic box. speaker. And it, was, like, it was bizarre. And, and it's like there's a tiny yeah. little iPhone. I was like, oh, that's and hilarious. Photoshop. 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 Yes. Yes. That's, that's what I thought when I first and saw then it. Then I, I was like, what a great Photoshop. I was like, oh, this Photoshop. is a really good Photoshop. Yeah. And then like, <laughs> yeah. this is, so, oh, so the people who don't a, know, the iNuke boom, boom is by Behringer. Yeah, it's eight feet wide. Behringer. Behringer? I think it's Behringer. Go ahead, Tyler, tell the people. It's It's an eight foot wide speaker dock for your iPhone, and you just stick the iPhone on top. 10,000 I, I, yeah. so 10, watts, it, if you haven't seen it, we have and a it cost, it cost $30,000. Okay, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> and the dudes told us they sold two at CES. Yeah, 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 no, he's, <laughs> very, he's very <laughs> proud of it. They were psyched. So, so if you haven't seen it, you should go. Uh, Dieter Bone did a hilarious yeah. post. And the funny thing is, like, he was kind of making fun of it because it's so ostentatious. It's so like, yeah. Yeah. it is CES in Vegas in a gadget, basically. Yeah. It's like the biggest dock ever, eight feet. Yep. Long Huge. by four feet tall by four feet deep. And the, okay? they, they came by because we're going to have it. We're going to have tomorrow. it tomorrow at three o'clock, by the way. And we'll talk about and this the, at the end of the And they yeah. loved the post. They 
they, they, they loved were, it. They were like, it's awesome. And I was like, you're not serious about this as a commercial product. They're like, we've already sold two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what's we sold crazy? two. So <laughs> for an audio like, file, thirty thousand dollars, not that much. What just, audio I, file I, is buying a gigantic no. iPod dock? Right. Like, yeah. I really care about audio. I, but quality. I do think I do think there's I'd a no- like something that can blow away a small think, I do think there's a novelty factor. There's a novelty factor that's going to go a long uh, way for people. Can this like, murder a kitten for for like? <laughs> yeah, like no audio files buy things where it's like it's like a tower of glass to isolate their turntable yeah. from vibrations. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't feel like this appeals to the audio file because I would venture. That's to what guess, I'm saying. I would venture to guess, and this is not a knock, but the design of it does not to me no. seem like it would create like the best audio experience. <laughs> just just no. the loudest. Yeah. <laughs> and that's very much no. seen. Right, worst we're, thing. Worst loudest thing. is the best. Um, the worst thing. Good point. It's a tie between the iNuke boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie for me between the <laughs> Razer Project Fiona. Yeah. Whoa, and, worst and, thing. Yeah, I was really disappointed by it. And then the Samsung Wi-Fi washing machines. I don't understand that at all. Because you're filthy. Wait, yeah, who's freaking out over yeah, there? Someone, <laughs> Sam's very mad. Did you like about that? Yeah. Byford, I mean. Yeah, did you, I heard you like that. You're fired. That <sighs> Damn it. I just realized that. I just realized something. Yes. What? What is this? He Sam's looks exactly like, like Sam. Sam's last name is Byford. <laughs> and we're, and we're, and we're sponsored by Ford. Sam's a plan. I have to read all your posts now. To make sure. <laughs> yeah, it's very suspicious. Go on. But the the washing machine, I just I think it's just people trying to put unnecessary features into something that doesn't really need them. Really, when but when you get a when you no your one smartphone, needs more than six hundred forty. When your smartphone tells okay. you that okay. your uh, laundry is done, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna be changing your tune. Yeah, but Chris, you don't seem like you do a lot of your own laundry. No. <laughs> All right, get out of here, Mama's okay. boy. Wait, wait, no, I gotta talk about the razor first. Oh, the razor. The, the Project Fiona. Um, the fo- the what? You hate it? Go, go, just literally leave this. Like I have to what say, like? really? No, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't debate it. I want you to leave. Wow, <laughs> that is really things got really uncomfortable here. <laughs> it's like when I said that thing about dig, but worse. <laughs> say, say, say what you're gonna say, and I'll keep Ethan Hawk away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I, love I just got all excited because I'm a big Razer fan. I have a Razer mouse, and they were like, "Yeah, we have this new form factor," and I was expecting something somewhat like actually that could actually work. Yeah. But I mean, this has no, none of the benefits of a tablet, and none of the benefits of a laptop. It's like you're getting the worst of both worlds. And plus, joysticks on any gaming, on any like PC gaming experience is like. Not a thing, you know. Mice and keyboards. He makes at, a pretty. So. He makes a pretty damn Paul good is argument. Making the say. saddest, angry face <laughs> I've ever seen. Well, Paul, maybe you'd like to tell us why you think it's so great. No, I already told him to leave. <laughs> All right. I'm Tyler Gold, everyone. Oh, very nice. Round of applause. All right, who's next? Let's go. Addy. Addy Robinson. Addy. All right, you have. Can a- I say? Can I say one thing about Addy? Addy's been wearing uh, five finger shoes all week. Oh my god. Oh and my I god. I actually just wow. want to know wait, what that's wait, like. Wow. Wait, wait, hold on. Can we talk about these for a second? Yeah. Because I have, I have um, publicly and privately made fun of these types of shoes. <laughs> Can you tell me what the deal is with them? <laughs> so the reason that I am wearing them, besides that I don't have any other tennis shoes, they're is insane. that no, they're they're very light. And when I was jogging back in my rural college town, I would jog barefoot because I had terrible cheap shoes. So and you're like, eventually, no shoes I liked is it. The way to go. Yes, oh. and it was great, and you felt like you were really like aware of everything that was happening to you where and were you jogging barefoot like now this is a, this is a big saying. movement among distance yeah. no no bare, like barefoot running is totally like a thing on, on, yeah, it's on, hot on, now on, on concrete i mean and dirt and other things that you jog on it, it so so just so you've I'm lived gonna, in like in like brooklyn for too long you're like imagining like well, broken I'm gonna, glass I'm gonna share and like yeah. needles yeah like, <laughs> like how many syringes parts? you had no but 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 I'll, I'll let you in on a little a personal detail about me yeah uh, which makes this, which makes me, I'm actually getting chills thinking about what you're telling me. Yeah. I hate walking barefoot on anything, especially <laughs> things that are natural, like grass or dirt. <laughs> and so, uh, I hate well, the feel uh, of fresh grass between oh, my toes. Oh God, no, I, I do, I do, I really do. It's disgusting. Uh, and it's disgusting. It is, it is foul. So, so this is horrible. What you're God, telling me. The idea but, of but walking these, through a meadow. These would be a big improvement if you ask me. So, I mean, yes, and all of the syringes and the <laughs> bullet casings that I go through in Brooklyn now when I jog, uh-huh. my feet are protected from them. Oh, I see. All right, well, I'll no longer make fun of them out loud. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> it's the least I can do. Best thing you've seen. So what do you have here? You've got a, you have a, a picture. 
What is this? Wow. So we, it so is we not a gadget. It. it is a man. That's a it man? Is. Can we get this up? Can we get you this up the camera? You got a signature. Is, and it says Dr. Megavolt. <laughs> okay, everything about this is amazing. Can we get Dr. Megavolt up to the camera here? here I'll, I'll, while Addy talks. My no, wireless. So, no, no, a, wireless. probably the only thing at CES that can kill you. Hold this. B, oh, it really? is a man who wears a knew. Faraday cage made out of a bird cage, <laughs> and he performs at Burning Man, and he is actually a doctor. He's a physicist. He's a doctor of having fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's been doing this for 15 and, and years, he, and he just he where did came. He and he has him. a hard drive, right? Uh, not no. This is this is another thing. I mean, the the hard drive was it was it was cool. It was um, a hard drive. Well, so, but so this is awesome. He is he is wearing like, I mean, he basically looks like. Dr. Freeze. I mean, he, yeah. he looks like this is a Batman villain. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. What did I say? I said Dr. Dr. Freeze. Dr. Freeze. Mr. Not Freeze. everyone's a doctor. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Megavolt. He does look like Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Uh, or that's amazing. Can only oh, survive is, in bird cages. Who's the who's the ele- who's the electrical guy? By the way, he signs it Dr. Batman MV. Universe. Like he's too lazy to do the whole thing. Yes, there is. No, this is Spider-Man. no, 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 no. Oh, maybe you're right. What's his name? Wasn't there one called like Dynamo or something? There is also one called Dynamo, I think. Yeah, there is. Okay, thank God. I mean, yeah, electricity is kind of a common I thought power. there was an electricity guy from the Batman, kind of the DC power. universe. Wow. Can we get Just someone saying. in Ustream to tell me who this person is? <laughs> there he is. Yes, that's, who I, that's, that's right for Spider-Man. But if you've read Arkham Asylum, there definitely is a... Which You're I'm just surprised. counting on these people to be enormous. Somebody's, somebody's, I am counting on everybody <laughs> Wait, to the, know this. The Grant Morrison Arkham Asylum? Or? Look at this. Yeah. Daddy, oh, just okay. coming through. There's definitely like an electrical dude in it. I don't know, right. his, I don't know what his name is. So who, wait, who is this promoting? Um, I use safe. This. It was a hard drive. What's and funny, you could zap it with electricity oh. and it would work. Okay. Sort of. Um, worst thing. Both, worst thing was the all singing, up, all dancing robot gentleman vacuum cleaner. What is that? Wait, Can you wait be, okay. <laughs> I was with you until the all singing, all dancing. No, I got all, uh, all singing, all dancing robot vacuum cleaner. I kind of understand. Gentleman. Okay. That's the question mark. So the basic actual thing is just the worst ripoff of iRobot, of like the Roomba that you can think of, except it sings and dances somehow. Does he have a bow tie? No, it has a top hat. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> oh. And it also... funny of me. I just feel like you'll be the most outraged by a bad no, robot. No, I'm really it. excited he's about the top it. hat. You know and what it's, Paul it's likes? Also, it's the he likes a robot with it. personality. Yeah. Right. He wants a friend. We all want a friend. <laughs> Well, it's, it's not just that. Friend. It's that the robot liberal. also has things. It, it has this line, all these lines of copy. It says it has a gentleman-like design. And then at the end, it just says, like, the noble aspect of a gentleman. Oh, my God. D- this and sounds, then the model number. This sounds amazing. Their marketing you know, is working. You know, a gentleman <laughs> used to mean, like, a landowner, <laughs> right? No, no this, that isn't, this isn't that. That this was is a <laughs> landed gentry. Oh, that's a gentry. Yeah. Oh, what does gentleman mean? Then? That's, that's just, just a nice guy. guy. It, <laughs> it's a guy who wears a tuxedo. It's like they saw the Fred Astaire vacuum cleaner ad, and they thought, I have an idea. And then this came out. So it's supposed to be like a robot butler. Did you get a hands-on with this? Did you like take a video? There wasn't a hands-on. It was in a case. People like seriously just ignored the things they didn't like. (laughs) Like, dude, get out of my face. Dude, Thomas texted me. Thomas and I play a lot of Tetris with Fins. He says Raymond used to be a pro Tetris player. Oh, I heard about this. How did I tell you about his moves? He said he played competitively. Didn't you hear him? Yeah, but his said his 40-line time was like two minutes, which is really slow. Oh, you think? Yeah, I know. Well, who played competitively? You or him? (laughs) That's what I thought. Get out. Thank Anyhow, you, Addy. Addy. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Don't forget your uh, your uh, professor uh, Demento. Professor Demento picture. We have to. We'll, 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 we'll give this away to somebody. We'll, 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 we'll put it in the swag. the name of the, the, of the Batman villain that I made up. That's what I want to know. Do you huh? Who's next? No one's answered. Wow. Sean. Thanks, you stream. Sean. Sean Hollister. Sean Hollister. I'm yes. About this one. Sean, you need a you need it's a Sean. I like how you're wearing the a ski blank jacket. something Hollister like yeah. Sean the machine, Sean the shakedown, the voice. Sean the voice, yeah, yeah. Sean the yeah. voice, Hollister. Sean the voice, oh, Hollister. There it is. Oh, there wow, it is. wow, that's it's like Sean. It's like someone wrapping silk around my brain. I like that you're wearing a ski jacket. I have to say, <laughs> it's like you just came oh, from the slopes. Can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> yes, you can. Now, I yes, gave Addy, yes, you I can. gave Addy crap for her shoes. Now I want to talk about your. <laughs> you're rocking. You're this rocking. Really more a fashion review podcast. <laughs> than all what is up with this outfit? <laughs> no, I wore these especially for you, Josh. No, well, no, I want to talk about you. You've got you're rocking a, a, what appears to be kind of a ski parka <laughs> thing. It's, it is cold here. I will say yeah. that. But, but the addition of the fingerless gloves. Now we saw them make <laughs> we saw them make their first official appearance in a, in the how to build a thousand dollar gaming rig video. That's correct. And there was a much debate. By the way, <clears throat> can I just say something? So so Sean did a video. What have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I, no, I, I, I understand. <laughs> Go ahead. If you, if you'd prefer that I didn't talk. <laughs> no, I want you I'm to. I'm happy to oblige. I really, I'm no, sorry. It's okay. Maybe I can get that top hat Your robot to, to be my friend. <laughs> In case it's not clear, right, I am to, trolling me, the Verge studio. Me, uh, okay. Back to me asking questions here. We first saw these gloves make an appearance in the uh, in the gaming break video, and uh, I said, you know, we some of us at the, at the Verge expressed some confusion, misgivings, some misgivings, and confusion yeah. about why the gloves uh, were in the video, because it was just the hands. <laughs> they were just the hands. <laughs> and they were never explained. And and, and shot and just like. I don't really uh, understand yeah, the and, problem. And we were coming I, up. We, we were like, coming up like we didn't understand it. So we're like, they must be like anti-static yeah, yeah. gloves. Joey was like, no, they're they're anti-static, <laughs> obviously. And then somebody told me like, no, it was just cold in the room. <laughs> and I was like, Sean, you know, it's a little odd. And he was like, I don't know what you mean. I don't know why it would be odd. I still don't get it. You don't <laughs> understand why? Why just seeing a fingerless glove reach into the well, frame? You quietly narrate in your voice. Like things you Yeah, you were like, and first we put the CPU. You have a very calm, very su smooth, like I said, silk, silky voice. All right. Uh, but then this glove comes in, this hand comes in, and it's like, what kind of crazy best thing ass is about CS. to happen here? Best thing. Best thing. The best thing I've seen at CES is right here. It's this iPad. What? And, uh, wait, wait, whoa, <laughs> wait what? for it. iPad? The iPad 2, the everyone. IPad? Yes. IPad two. Can we get in here? Oh, my God. Chad, oh, what's Chad's happening? Chad's making a move. You're all ready for this? Why are you... <laughs> What were you doing? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, what that's song Mortal is that? Kombat. That's Mortal Kombat. No, that's, that's a different Jeff song. Plays, I, I can we, can he's playing this. Windows. Oh, okay, okay. So he's not, you're. Not tell us what's way. going on here. So what we're looking at right here is on Live's cloud desktop. This is not a Windows 7 install on here. This is uh, iOS. Here, I'll do this. You do oh, you that. do that. You do that. Okay, okay, you're gonna do that. iOS running here, uh, on on Live's remote servers. It's like the game service, except it's Windows. Like, this is a video stream. And this is a video stream. This is all video stream. These are compressed video frames. And the latency is really low. It's really low. It. And yeah. you know, I can tap on this touch screen and start up a, a video right here. I can watch some wildlife, run along a beach or something like that. I mean, I will say, you, can, you can go back. So is this your rig or do they have just a... Uh, an, a this is just their. This, this is a free app you can download it, right it's now. Only but, off but, of their servers. It's only like but you can't run it, but they won't, like, they won't virtualize your rig. No, you you can pay ten dollars a month, or you will be able to, and you can set up uh, a, 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 a a virtual desktop that you can manage yourself. Can you, can you get your own apps? Uh, you can't install your own apps yet, but they want to curate some so for you. Can you. Just, so like, there will be a bunch. So, because I guess what I'm imagining is, and maybe this seems completely insane, well, but you have a really powerful. It's it's going back to a really powerful computer that you can play any game you want on. Yeah, on live. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, but you can't put it's, games it's on. Like it's like online. I mean, it's, it's basically what online was doing, except now you could. I mean, I have to say, do your my Excel favorite, documents. My, my favorite part of you and Paul playing this earlier was when Paul's like, "Check it out! No, 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 I no. got Windows Media Player running no, on the no, iPad." No, 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 no. And, and, and here's the best thing that Paul seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh God. At no, CES so here's the thing. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big Microsoft Office person, but I made my own um, presentation. Uh, where did it go? What do you do all day? <laughs> Like I made a PowerPoint. So, made so like, PowerPoint. you've got like a like you've got a cloud drive where you can put stuff. Oh and wait, then, you're in the cloud. And you get two gigabytes of storage. And so like I uploaded some files to this cloud drive from my Mac, and then I pulled them into PowerPoint. Wow, this is good. And uh, this let's is, see, this let's is see. a good. Slide I like how Josh show. is saying how good it is that we're watching show. PowerPoint. Wow. Yeah. All right. Hey. From, ribbon. from the can beginning. We see it? What I did this summer, a presentation about Finally, Paul some answers. Do, do you All want right? me to narrate? Now I can we're going to know this. what Paul Miller's been doing. <laughs> what I did this summer, a presentation by Paul Miller. Oh, I my made God. These guys. guys. So, so, yeah, this is Paul Miller. The podcast Ball. has now turned into Paul doing a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> activities. With the graph. Look at all these activities. Yeah. Oh, look, look. Playing tag, riding my bike, learning to bike, swimming, winning, losing, and asthma. Yeah, you know when you're playing What's, asthma and somebody like, wait, 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 time playing out. What's asthma? asthma? No, 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 no. When you're playing tag oh, you said and someone that. says, oh. wait, 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 time out, I have asthma. Oh, yeah. As like an out because you're about you, to get them. Are you still playing tag? Yeah. Okay. What's the that. worst thing you've seen? All right, let's yes. keep going. We got to roll. We got to roll. You're deeply confusing Look, man. we have 100 more people to bring yeah. up here, and we have zero time. Worst, worst, worst thing, thing worst you thing. saw. Worst thing I saw was uh, Joseph Parrish's <laughs> USB mouse. Oh, my God. It was Joseph <laughs> Parrish has a, a mouse that is breaking computers. You plug it in, and then your USB <laughs> port stop working. <laughs> It's like, it's got, a, it's got a subtle, simple virus that will break. No, they smash it. It's true. All right, Sean, I want you to continue wearing those gloves and never take them off. 
even when you sleep. Okay? Or shower. Now get out of here. I, Go. I don't know if I could promise that. Well, just promise me it. <laughs> just lie to me. <laughs> Josh Topolsky, I will wear these gloves until the day I die. Yes! Wow. Very nice, Sean. That was, that was meaningful. I won't, hey, listen, man, I won't hold you next. So thank you for that. Who's next? Yeah, who's, go, go. We gotta go. Chad's Patrick, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What is this? What is going on here? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. You know what? Don't you know, try to. You have a picture on the site of Sean. Uh, Do you, Patrick, don't, hey, like, you don't come up here and try to out Sean, Sean Hollister, yeah. all right? I want to say something. Yeah. I wore these first. No, oh, really? You I don't believe that? it for a where's moment. Your, where's your Build a Gaming Rig video? Yeah. Proof, dude. Hold on, hold on. Picture didn't happen. Hold on, hold on. Pictures or it did not happen. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> Let's go. Um, what are you doing, best? Best. The AKG. Those K are just letters. Can you be more specific? Still just letters. <laughs> Keep <laughs> going. Keep finish. going. I'm going to let you finish. Uh -huh. AKG. K3003. You just added some numbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. What H, it? H E A D. P -H. That spells had. Is this for real? That spells head. Wait, yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> H E A D. H E H O N E S. Headphones. Head, head, what the, what the hell are you saying? What is it? All right, what is it? Head a, pair, what they are. a pair of in ear headphones. That mic closer up there. In ear headphones. Yep. Triple drivers in each ear. Yeah. Was that actually the model number? AKG K3003. But the yeah. rest, you didn't use No, the rest, he was just being funny. Oh, that was I'm funny. funny guy. Go ahead. You were hilarious. Did you say you're a funny guy? That's a sign of comedy, you know, when somebody <laughs> says they're funny. It is. That's guaranteed. Also, that's also a sign that, like, guaranteed they're going to freak laughs. out and shoot you. Yeah. Right, I'm a funny ahead. guy. Who's laughing now? God, I don't uh, know what's happening. They won't happening. let me bring my gun on the plane. Uh -huh. um, so. <laughs> or you'd be uh -oh. dead now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but why, what, triple, triple drivers. Yeah. Triple drivers. Uh, comes in a, it comes in a leather box. Do you like that? Uh, oh, yeah. You can switch out the diaphragms. <laughs> you like that? I like, I like that, you these, sick Oh, bastard. these are the $1,300 headphones. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's what they are. Wait, aren't these the ones that perish that sounded like $100 headphones? Yeah. Look, look where we are. We can't get a clear sound here. From are headphones? You, you, no, I don't here. know. A clear sound here? All right, worst right, thing, worst, thing. worst thing, it's a tie between the PlayStation Vita. Ooh. What? what? Oh. Let me finish. What? Sam, oh, move where's on. Sam? Move on. Yeah. Keep going. PlayStation Vita and the Casemate tank case, which you have in the office. So and oh, the window <laughs> case. Remember the window rolls up with the window shade? You're saying that's as bad oh, as the PlayStation Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, yeah. No, wait, wait, no. What? Because. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Or, or One's a crappy deal. iPod case or iPhone case. Wait, here we go. The Sam other... Byford is coming up and here. Is, Did you hear uh, what he said? He said the Vita's Worst thing at the show, PlayStation PS Vita. Vita. What the? <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Sam Everybody's just got just super British Sam. and like yeah. lost the ability to speak. He was like. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What are you going to say, Sam? Come, come here, come here. No, no, it's no, fine. No, no, we don't have time for that. All right, Patrick, get out of here. Thank so, you very much. Well, Great job. Thank you. <laughs> what, yep. what else did you want to say? That's it. Then go. <laughs> <laughs> then leave. All right, never next? come back. Let's go. Parrish, get out of here. Joseph Parrish, yeah. everybody. Joseph Parrish. Oh, my God. All right, really quickly. So that, best? Best thing. Best thing of CES. It was the uh, Vizio 15-inch thin and light laptop. You really yeah, oh, people are loving this. I'll tell you things. something, we had it was we, beautiful. the Vizio came by the off uh, the trailer the office, the trailer today. Yeah. And 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 seriously people were crowding around it going. And, but Joseph didn't Joseph let it go. Like, no, no, Joseph was like, I'm this. getting this. I'm getting this when it comes out. I did. I'm not getting yeah. a Mac. Screw you guys. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, there's a lot of pressure here to get a Mac, and I'm not <laughs> well, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't wanna I, I wanna say that like people you may believe to be hardcore Windows supporters are using Macs, well, and because it's not, easier. not because we said anything about yeah. it. No, it's just easier to work on a Mac doing the job that we do. Oh, okay, there you go. Okay, next, uh, worst thing. Oh, the worst thing get is... Get the mic, get the mic closer. The worst thing is the name, 15-inch thin and light <laughs> laptop. Yeah, yeah like, it's pretty bad. You know, but, yeah. but here's the thing, it might be a good thing, because I think they spent so much time coming up with a great design that they just didn't have time to come up with a great name. Yeah. They were like, like, they're laptop. like, they're like all, right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now what are we going to call them? They're like, there's no time. Get it to CES. Like, all right, <laughs> like, that's pretty good. All right, any other thoughts about the CES? Um, oh, the, the headphones thing? Yeah. The, the floor was, it was awful. It was, they had like 17 big, spe so jury's, 17 big speakers jury's out. blasting. Jury's out. And, I, and, you just couldn't, and they didn't have good isolation. So you, you couldn't really tell if, how much better they were than regular headphones. Yeah. All right. And it's just like they aren't for like, yeah. you got to listen in a quiet room. Yeah. I'm out. All right. Joseph, everybody. Josh, Very Josh nice. Josh has had enough. All who's right. Who's left? next? Who's next? Who do we, we got people here for Shane. sure. Oh, yeah, you're going? You're coming up here, by the way, buddy. Yeah, wait. Who, who do we have? And I'm Jeff? Just, I'm going to tell you to, I'm gonna tell you to wrap up the whole time. What do you mean? We don't have there's 20 no. more people. We're going to get through. Okay. Sit down. Quick, go. Yeah. All right, Michael, go. What do you mean there's no more people after Michael? 
Who, who? Jeff, Jamie, who else? Okay, cool. Is there that it? Go. What about you guys? No, best we're thing. bringing you up, Creighton. Best thing. Michael. Best thing. Far and away, the Microsoft keynote. That was the best thing. Are you? Listen. Are you high? It's not a gadget. <laughs> wow. <laughs> listen. Listen to me. <laughs> Why did you do that again. voice again? <laughs> hey. <laughs> the dice, the he, dice he, man he is keeps, out. He keeps giving me the shoulder. He's well, like, no, shut up. It's because you guys are both wearing funky blazers. Yeah. Yours is like striped. His is like denim. I don't know what's going on. All right. Funky? Yeah, yeah. This is from Brooks Brothers, okay? It's the last, this is from the least and last funkiest thing. <laughs> Gentlemen. Well, a gentleman. A gentleman. Where white men go to avoid fun. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> where white men go to avoid everything. Uh, Can I finish? I'd like for you to start. <laughs> I'm starting. <laughs> Listen. All right. Best thing, Microsoft keynote. We've all been around the block. Perhaps we're even a little jaded, right? But it's nice to know. That's his first year. Your first year. Yeah. You started working for us like two weeks but ago. I will say this. I will, I will say this. The man is a sponge. He feels like he's been here six or seven times. You got that right. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Listen. It's nice we've to all know. Been around hey, the hey, we're all, we've all, this is our six, seven, when eight. When I was your CES. age. When we started, when CS, when I was at the first CS in 1962 or whatever year it was. Go ahead. The point is, it's nice to know that we can all still see something here that completely stupefies us. Yeah. yeah. What, what was the most stupefying part for you? Oh, God. The tweet how is, choir? How is that? The by hug? The way, how is this somehow the best thing? No, yeah. Because it's nice to come here so and you're be stupefied. It's, like, it's so full it's circle bad exactly. that it comes back to the you like it. So you like it that everybody's collectively like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I enjoyed that. Very odd. Yeah, you, worst you worst thing you, and the worst so thing. The worst thing, thing is going to be like the best thing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, this is so good. He's like, I love those fit-in lights. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. The worst thing is anything with 3D attached to it. Really? I can't stand it. I You're think, it's, I think it. it's a gimmick. I think it's crap. I just, I just don't wow. get it. Wow. I agree. I agree. We got right. people walking around with these massive things. You know, in I'll their say heads. this, and I don't want to diss Toshiba or any of these other companies, but they had the the glassless 3D. Yeah. It's like instant headache. No, it's an instant headache, but it looks bad. It mm -hmm. looks bad. It doesn't look good. It's like have you ever seen something that looks good? This is the opposite. Stop doing that. All right, Michael, thank you very thank much. You. Very nice. All right. Excellent. And by the way, Michael has been a lifesaver. He's new to the team, but he's been, he, I don't think he's been doing anything except driving people around pretty yeah. much and getting me napkins. And he's done a great job. <laughs> Josh goes through a lot of napkins. <laughs> I'm, honestly, I'm a messy eater. Shit gets nasty. All right, get over here. Jamie King. Jamie. Hello. Hi, how are you? Say hello. How are you? I'll be honest with you, I've been better. Oh. I've had to talk to a lot of jerks tonight. Oh. You really he doesn't give a oh. damn. Oh, really? <laughs> Sympathetic. Okay. Yes. God, your accent sounds so fake and condescending Wait, at the same there. time. Okay. No, it's I genuine. I, I swear, I promise. <laughs> I'll tell you, I like, I like this year we've got a real bunch of Harry Potter types. <laughs> uh, I'd rather be Harry Potter than Ron Weasley. Put it that way. Uh, we got wow. Wow. Oh, that God. wasn't personal, I promise. Why are you just saying you on that? Anytime anybody, anybody. Because, oh, somebody has an opinion on Harry Potter. Yes, hey. and I point at you and start hey. laughing. Best hey, thing you've seen. Ron dies. <laughs> There's plenty. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> There's plenty of 3D printers out there. MakerBot have been doing it for a while, but Cubify were here, and it's the first time I've seen it. It's. Uh, Whoa. Right, right in front of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just get like, like your. Yeah. So you printed it's, a shoe. You printed a shoe. No, they printed this, but it's just the level of detail and strength That's that goes right. into it. Well, it's um, a shoe made. It's like it looks a shoe. It's but a shoe. What shoe impressed drive. me most is and that they were. It's in Japanese. This is wild. They were. They had a Kinect camera. Oh there. wow! They were taking photos of people, and within about 40 minutes, having full-on busts of people's faces. No, it's, it's terrifying. Just, the, d the detail on it's stunning. Wow! This is so. This is, is a uh, so. This is a tiger. You know the tiger sneakers yeah, yeah. with like a little cityscape on the top of it, yeah. and Japanese writing on the side, and it ha is a flash drive. This is very important. Sure. And it looks really awesome. Chad yeah, won't be happy until people eat the mic. Yeah, just <laughs> can you put the mic into your mouth and leave it there while you speak. Um, and how long did it take to print this? About 40 minutes from start to finish, but obviously you make the model first and then works from there. Right, that's pretty amazing. This is awesome. Cool. But they're not, this is not a consumer device. Uh, it is. It's uh, $1,299, which is obviously not cheap, but they're planning on selling them in the next few months. Right. Well, so, and, and so for... The average consumer would be like, I need to make a pair of tiny shoes. One of our commenters was instantly, I don't know why I want this, but I want this. No, but think about the things you could do, like, and this is going to sound crazy, <laughs> as do most of the things I like think I say. Like read the novel uh, Diamond Age by Neil Stevenson. Well, yeah, but, but you could, like, let's say you were missing, like, a screw from something. You could potentially go, like, download that oh, screw type part. and get it, at least temporarily, you could put the plastic yeah. screw in, you know, mm -hmm. like, that would be amazing. 
Incredible. I just have, I have a feeling there's a long, long collection of like bad IKEA stories, <laughs> just sort of like you waiting to a, come out. You could make, you could make like a bookend if you needed, a, if you had like a shelf and you had didn't have enough books to put on the shelf, you could just whip up a bookend. <laughs> I'm serious. Or like, or like a kitty. Or like a doorstop or a paperweight. Yeah. yeah. You could make a paperweight. <laughs> I could make a paperweight right now. <laughs> what, what would you use? A rock. <laughs> yeah. Rock. Yeah. No, 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 no. But you, you could put the rock inside a cityscape. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Paul's well, Japanese writing. Worst thing. Okay. Worst thing. It's not new, but I'd never seen it before I was corrected that it wasn't new. It's just a, the convergence of everything for me that's wrong with the world. It's a Justin Bieber paper jams guitar. What? Which is just... Oh, paper jams. Paper jams, bad. you know, like yeah. those guitar, uh, like flat guitar things that make guitar noise. It's a, a keyboard <laughs> version of that. and it just So bad it can't be described. Exactly. Yeah. It's just got his face on it. When it's, oh, it I'm sorry, Joanna, oh. but it's Harry just Potter hates Bieber. All right. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> very nice. There's so, so many similarities. Very nice. All right, who we have here? Jeff. Jeff. Jeff Blagden. Another Am I saying that right? Japanese Blagden? Bureau. That is correct. Okay, good. How's it going, Jeff? Yeah, we do well, thank you. Class. People, people stop clapping. You know, if you clap Jeff for clap something, for you. Come on, okay? and then they go off. Why? Now you're going to clap for Jeff. It's nice. It feels good. Yeah. Jeff, What's you up? also live in Japan. I do. But you're originally from? Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Wow. Now, how does a Canadian go to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> I went to yeah. teach English a few years ago, and I... Loved it. Stuck Drug around. smuggling. Enough said. <laughs> so, and you just put your uh, iPad under the scanner, and then they let you go anywhere, <laughs> right? With a fake passport on oh, your did, iPad. Did you? Is that oh, what? Yeah, did that, that happen? Fake. That, yeah. that was fake. Wait, what oh, happened? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, like his birth certificate. Oh, no. oh okay. Um, um, I don't even know what you guys are talking about at all. Best thing you've seen at the Where's show. Where's that come? Um, well, yeah, they were. They were both. We've only done like a thousand stories in the past let, three days. Let Jeff I can't. Talk. I cannot let him talk because <laughs> Paul's doing, saying something over here that I have to respond to. All right, so both of them were phones. The first, the best one was uh, a prototype Kyocera um, phone that I saw at the KDDI booth that used uh, bone conduction. The bone phone. The bone phone. It yes. vibrates. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So oh, there's I saw no your speaker. Video. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. he was just, you got to watch it on the site, but it's Jeff holding his thing to his head, <laughs> just trying to describe what's happening. He's like, so there's a voice. Explain, he's explain, what, explain exactly what it does. Okay, so there's no speaker in it, it just uses uh, an oscillator inside that vibrates the the front of the screen and you press it against your ear you can press the you know whatever part of the screen you want against your ear and it vibrates the bones in your ear canal and it sends the sound to your brain that's you insane it. it's pretty that crazy insane. are yeah. they gonna actually sell that is that they are in japan not in the states no, no, it's coming your, out this I know, year but they sell things yeah, in japan do they will, not yeah. there's a form of there's yeah. a form of currency they use there people can buy <laughs> I believe it's called the buy yen. and sell things they the absolutely uh -huh. yeah. so they will they are yeah. going to sell it he's they gonna are, review yeah. it coming out this year you're gonna review it for us great worst thing the worst thing was the rock chip reference phone that i saw i went over to the rock chip booth if you don't know who rock chip is they make a lot of the uh, chips that go into like really cheap Android tablets, and they had a an Android 4.0 ready. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Phone, but it was just a really bad alpha build of the software. It was super crashy. They couldn't really do anything with the phone, and then the the battery immediately died. It was like a <laughs> just a They're cheap. Like here, see this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you big, know what? We're gonna just show that to you later on. Yeah. Wow, yeah, was, that sounds uh, depressing. Unquestionably, the worst thing I saw. Wow. Unquestionably, is this your first CES? It is my first. Well, you've been Hopefully around the block. What do you think? Yeah. You going to come back? I'd love to. Yeah, it was a, right. it was a blast. Wow. Yeah, well, we, we want you back. Ride. Yeah. All right, very nice. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks. All right. <laughs> the rest, right, who the rest of the guys not so sure about bringing back. <laughs> but Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh, my God. You're in. Everybody else. It's time for Thomas Houston. Houston. Let's yeah. go. Come wow. on. Big round. That's what I want. Yeah. Now, Thomas, what's your, what's your words with uh, your Tetris with Friends time? Uh, Tetris with Friends? Yeah. Tetris Friends. Or just Tetris Friends. Friendly Tetris. 128. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you can just, just, what's your so you just 40 lines, 128. So you could just house Raymond is what you're saying. Well, you can uh, house He's pretty me. good. I, 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 my best well, is like 132. So you guys could both be competitive players. What are these yeah, numbers? Yeah, it's a good what game. They, is it All right, let's not, it's not, yeah. let's okay. not uh, get too caught up in that. But Thomas, <laughs> now you were deathly ill for a couple of days. <clears throat> yeah, Monday Here at the too, show, so. which I believe, I believe this is my theory brought on by the horrible stress of CS, yeah. not, not the actual germs. Because this is, you've done CS many times. And you're, Three you, more get, times. you do get sick every, every time. single Thomas year. saw the rock chip phone. <laughs> he was like, he was like, blah, he was like <laughs> just like, <laughs> um, <laughs> best thing you've seen. The, uh, the Sen6 um, headset. Yeah. Oh, that thing is awesome. I mean, like completely ridiculous. Did you wear it? No. 
But we, we, so maybe, maybe tomorrow you go out. I could, yeah. yeah. That'll probably make you throw up as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the old Saturday Night Live. Yeah, yeah, like, ah, ah. Exactly. Go on. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it's really great. Completely over the top. It's, Unnecessary. It's CS. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's exactly the I, what it's CS the I nuke is. of headsets. <laughs> um, and it's great that somebody's building something. Yeah. Like uh, what, that. What's the worst thing? Uh, the Polaroid Android. Yeah. Wow. That, is that's, that's the first thing. No, no, no. The first thing has gotten yeah. a double bad. It's, it would have been almost cool three years ago. Um, and you expected everyone to be doing it. Yeah. And it's just kind of insulting that they're still trying to push something like that out. They did have Polaroid had that. It's not new, I guess, but they had like the new Polaroid camera over there. Yeah. It's like right here, by the way. Like, I can see it from here. Um, I thought that was, I think that's cool. Yeah. I think Polaroids are cool. I actually bought a um, Instax Fuji, like the big one. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I don't want to like get off on a tangent here, but there was a picture of, of Katie Holmes and Tom Cruise <laughs> at Us Weekly, and she was carrying around the big blue gray Instax. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're, they're, they're popular in Japan, right? Yeah. And I was like, why is she carrying that around? In like New York, they were walking around with it. Anyhow, I thought that was cool. But uh, the Polaroid camera is apparently people hate it. Everyone hates but it. But the other one, did you see the other one that's like a regular kind the of The Gaga remote? camera. Is that the Gaga camera? That was the one that yeah, the one that came out last year. year. Yeah, yeah. That one seems cool to me. Is it yeah. available? Huh? I don't think they ever released yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it came out as far as I know. Okay. Don't don't. Uh, there's a don't lot. Worry of, there's a lot of commentary from the people right. over here. All right, all right. Is that it? We done? Let's Who go. else? We missing I some want, people? Yeah, I want Graydon. 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 I want Chad Mum up here. I feel like oh, after yeah. all the heckling we've gotten yeah, from you behind know, the Chad's, scenes, Chad's giving us a lot. Chad's going to end this out? one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, this is Creighton. Creighton D. Simone. He's the our man new guy. with the strangest name on our staff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When when you interviewed me. You le we were at lunch, and you lean in and you go, let's get down to brass tacks. Where does your name come from? <laughs> and then you know what he told us? Can I tell your story? Yeah, you're going to tell both of them? Well, I only know the one. that I, It's the only one that I remember. <laughs> is it a genealogy? Right. The gist of it is that he's named after, oh, yeah. I think, yeah. from what you told me. Yeah, this is, this is going to blow your mind. His mother's roommate's boyfriend from college. <laughs> That's Which true. makes me highly suspicious of the relationship <laughs> that his mother and this roommate's boyfriend. boyfriend. No, roommate's boyfriend. Roommate. Yeah. Wait, mother. <laughs> what? Did no, you just say what I think oh, you yeah, said? Oh, yeah. I'm accusing, I'm accusing, some, I'm accusing my his mother. family of adultery. Wow. <laughs> you can't just say his My mother was a bird. darling <laughs> and a sweetheart, <laughs> sir. I'm just saying she may have been playing the field. You know, you never know. Okay. Anyway, I, he's not. He's not. Pretty I'm gonna. Up. I feel like video first teams dig that this thing. <laughs> I'm not helping anybody here, am I? Creighton, listen. I'm of course joking. Sure. <laughs> it's an odd story, of course, but I have no doubt that your mother is of the utmost. Uh, the, the finest. It'll be fine if you just stop. I can't. Your mother is a fine woman, I'm sure. No, it's getting worse. And didn't commit adultery. <laughs> Rock bottom. <laughs> And, and I'm sure it doesn't read dig either. <laughs> What's the best thing you've seen at CES? Uh, I feel like I saw very little, but the thing that literally, I was shooting a lot of video with these guys, uh, but I shot video of the Sony Crystal TV display, yeah. and I literally screamed while I was shooting the video. I was standing next Are to Ross Miller, and I went, is, is the, the viewing angle is unbelievable. I was standing like, yeah, like almost to degrees, the next right? to the TV, and I could see everything perfectly. And it looked like the flower that was on the screen was Where, popping out of the it screen. Here, can we see it, it is. It's, it's right, right over there. there. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, beyond, is it on? right behind this horrible TV. Is we should go look at it. We'll go if it's on, we should go look at it. Yeah. It, it, we'll it, go it is. I, I want to see anything that makes somebody like Creighton scream. I was yeah. I was yeah. filming the thing and I was looking at because now I'm watching a screen through a crappy crappy screen on the camera and I like just looked up to see what it looked like and I went. Oh my God! This is amazing. Like I just like couldn't. Just I couldn't by believe ruining it. the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I Ross was like, <laughs> right well, it was all VO and yeah. room noise, and it didn't didn't really matter. So it was. Uh, and is that, that also, it. Is they selling that? No, it's a prototype. No, it's like a prototype. All the best stuff is like this. Yeah. Is like the Intel phone. This is no. This is your concept coming, car. Yeah. All the TV manufacturers. No, the they don't, there's no delivery for anything beyond 1080p. So they're yeah. like, look, we made better TVs, but nah. Well, they're just starting to like get put the feelers out there. Hey, you just bought a new TV. 
Why don't you buy a new new TV? The 4K <laughs> stuff, I mean, like, nobody bought new 3D. Nobody's going to buy smart. I, am, so I, I will buy a 4K I TV. I will buy so available. many 4K TVs. Because it's awesome. Have but you seen any 4K when, TVs when, here? How far There's no off? content for We're at least three. I, we talked about this with Red Terry. No, I think they it's have more than three. Japan, like maybe maybe Japan. Japan. Don't they have 4K delivery? Yeah, in Japan. In Japan. No, it's like now in Japan. In Japan. Right. It's three yeah, Do you know here. how long it's they had HD TVs in Japan before we got them? It was like 10 years. A hundred Sam? years. Yes. Yep. Um, <laughs> he says yes. But I'm saying it's three Everyone years, especially if we go to like pure internet delivery of television. Oh, yeah, because then you can push down so many more pixels. Because we have so much bandwidth at our homes. You get 1080p on over the internet right now. You cannot get 1080p over the air or over cable. And there's like one service that does 1080p, two services that do 1080p. Yeah, that's more and services. And most people could not that's do... That's more than and NBC, most people could, ABC, CBS, but I would, or But I would venture to guess that the vast majority of people in America do not have enough bandwidth to push down 1080p streams. It doesn't matter. Oh. The availability will be there. The buffers. It's yeah, three, uh, three just, like our great, just like our great cell networks. It doesn't matter, or does it? Get out of my face. <laughs> You just, Great, had, worse than you, you just had an argument uh, that you lost <laughs> with yourself. So, <laughs> go ahead, Greg. Uh, I don't know what bread it was, but I was walking by. Actually, I was running to a thing to go shoot a thing with Paul, and there was a glasses-free 3D TV, and I thought I was going to go blind. Yeah. I was just like freaking out they're my not, eyes. They're not fun. They're not the the glasses-free 3D TVs are not or just not they're not good. No. That's, All right, that's great. great. And I'm sorry about insulting your family. I apologize. Again. You could have just everybody forgotten. I'm yeah, sorry about the I dick. Forgot. Thing also. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't you, think you're going to keep bringing up dick. Oh, that's three though. Is that the third time? Yeah. Is that yeah, that's should be funny. So it's just wow. it's funny. Thematic unity from the video producer. That's right. Well, that's I'm trying to back. tell a story here. Well, he knows how it's done. <laughs> All, right. All right, who else do we Who's have? Who's next? James Brace. James, get up here. James, come on. Round of applause. Let's do it. All right, we got we got just got to hustle. I mean, this is yeah. the this is the longest no, podcast. We've been way longer. We're supposed to be playing Quake Live right now. An um, hour and 38 minutes is not nearly our longest mm-hmm. podcast. Um, we actually did, like, I think 10 minutes before that. So An hour and 48 happened. minutes That's still true. not our <laughs> That's true. But this has been highly entertaining. It is. I'm having a good time. Yeah, I, except for all the insulting stuff that I've said to people. <laughs> I mean, and I've the, really been a... Chad frown. Yeah. Chad frown? Live troll. Yeah, well, Chad frowns at us. Okay, go ahead. Awesome. Best thing. Uh, my favorite thing like is the... Up here. My favorite thing is... Uh, uh, out shut up! Well... <laughs> Prototype crystal LED was pretty amazing to see, but like right behind it, they have the uh, 3D like gla- like 150 inch like simulated screen, but it's on these uh, like goggles, so it looks like you're being haloed in Minority Report, wow. and it's pretty amusing to watch these people like reclining these chairs with these like full immersed 3D experience going on. So wait, your favorite thing was not the actual product; it was watching other people experience the product. Yeah, it was like okay. z- miles away. Wow. I mean, the product was interesting, but like I put That's it on. Interesting. Yeah. But I put the product on, and it was, like, a little heavy, and I didn't feel like I could burn through, like, a season of Battlestar Galactica with it on. Yeah. Which Because you'd be throwing out the whole time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it was still, like, pretty humorous to, like, see all these people in these, like, reclining chairs. Okay, worst thing. Uh, the fact that Monster's still displaying HDMI cables. Oh. <laughs> but it wow. is it is insane. What a layup, but so good. <laughs> it is insane. Like, I would love to know if there's a single. Do you know Monster and Beats broke up today? Beats is no longer, yeah, we should applaud that. Why? Do you think your business practices will change? No, I mean, I, I mean, I think they, Monster will become less and less relevant because Beats, Beats is the relevant brand. I don't Monster. know. I, I guess the, they're relevant to people who don't want the clearest HDMI signal they can get. <laughs> but Purest but speak, digital quality. speak for yourself. But I would love to, you know what I'd love to do? Is go see what they are I'd like to go see if there's a single... Besides Monster, a single company here using Monster Cable to hook up their TVs. Because <laughs> I think that would be a re- if Sony wasn't using them. Well, Sony's Samsung- using their own cables. Please stop interrupting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My point stands, damn it. All right, do we, we, that's it. We got that's you. It. Get out of here. We got Very you. Good <laughs> Chad. Yeah. Chad. Yeah. Now the goal is to keep him Chad. on no. as long as possible. I get, to, I get to show up and wrap this up immediately. Is this everyone? Is anybody it's, left? We've, what about, the, it's what about pretty. the Zamboni guy? Yeah, we have to wrap it up. Okay, Chad. Uh, yes. We, we've managed to actually upset someone now. Who has to the drive CEA. us? The CEA. All right, we'll tell them we're very sorry. Very sorry. Uh, no, let's go. Hurry up. Hey, what about apologize us? for Chad. <laughs> yeah. Chad. Well. Well. Um, it's actually Neil's fault because if he'd done the post when he was supposed to, we would have started a little bit earlier, I think. About 20 minutes earlier. Yep. Made Go all ahead. the difference. It would have made all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world. Yet, uh, we so, can't, you can't find out what might have happened. Like, it's a wonderful life. We just have to live through the hell that is our actual <laughs> world. Go on. 
I wasn't talking. <laughs> best yeah. thing. Best thing. Uh, best thing I've I seen. I wasn't talking. Would you be, you'd be <laughs> confrontational now? I wasn't saying anything. What? Um, Chad, <laughs> when you think of the best thing that you've seen at CES, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The best thing I've seen this week is the Canon C300 camera. Yeah. I've seen a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. The, uh, but I, I got to see the C300 in person. Actually, we, we've been shooting with a red Scarlet this week, which was really cool. Red was uh, generous enough to loan us a red to make some stuff. And actually, the little Ford thing you saw in the middle, we did on the red, which is exciting. Uh, but seeing the C300 in person, it's really, like to me, the perfect form factor for shooting the kind of stuff that we shoot, which is really beautiful run-and-gun video. Yeah. Or we try to make it Are you going to get one? I, I think I want to get I one. I mean, are, are, are we getting one? Yeah. Well, they're yeah. $16,000. No so. problem. That's two. fine. Yeah, two right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, I can get you an old D90. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. So. I'm hitting the tables. I'm getting you a 4 Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. Why yeah. Do we got to circus. Take care of business. Yeah. Go back. get you a C300. Yeah, yeah, we we spin Eli around the uh, times and then have... No, I was talking to one of our other Oh, yeah, right. Put him in the craps table. And he was saying that he actually didn't like the form factor of the red. Yeah, I thought it was a little cumbersome. Yeah, so well, the red, the red, it's a different market. Yeah. I mean, the red is trying to appeal to filmmakers and make movies, and yeah. it, so it's meant to be hey, on a steady camera. Hey, on a our, big our videos are like movies. Yeah. Well, it's true. You know what? And that's thanks to you. Um, the red, very loud fans. You know what's crazy about the red? When you you run, you shoot, crazy. and then you stop, and then it runs the fans to cool <laughs> itself down. Yeah, it's really insane. It's yeah. it, the red. I mean, the red is the red is an amazing camera yeah. for sure, and it's not even yeah. the red. The, the C three hundred isn't even in the same league as the red in terms of actual yeah. imaging. No, Jay, but in so terms like, of the kind of stuff we do, it's all about form factor for the way that we shoot. And for the internet, we're never going to shoot anything higher than ten eighty. No, Jason, Jason, he was like, well, what about when we go to four K? Well, when we go to four K, then I'll get the red. We can do four K on the internet right we now. We got future proof yeah. on YouTube tomorrow yeah. on a on no, a actually. But I interviewed I interviewed the uh, the uh, one of the guys from Red today, and we'll probably have that up tomorrow. But uh, he said that they are going to be making the first consumer product they make is going to be a projector. They have a laser projector that they're going to be doing sometime. Next could be next year, could be ten Wait, years from no, now. I'm pretty this? sure that what, Red. I mean, if this is the Red, I know they'll just release yeah. vaguely different renders of it right. for like eighteen well, months. Well, actually, or so. they're going to workshop I wanna, it at I the forums. Get, yeah, I want to exactly. get through this because we don't have much time because we've been Worst going. Thing. Yeah, we're you're the guy who's just burning, talking all right, these I details. Know. Anyway, but the uh, the C three hundred. Really cool. The uh, you know red was great, and you know the 4K. They believe that just like 720p was a thing, 480 was a thing. SD. They think resolution is something that it can always go. Like gimmicky stuff like 3D. They feel like eh, it's a little bit. I didn't say we're not going to get there. They I think just said we're not like, going to get there soon. You know, years. it was 720, and that five was a years. thing. Years. Now no one does I it. I can't do five because I'm holding the cap. Right. Anyway, I so mean, worst I, thing. I know what five looks like. So actually, <laughs> can I, I have two best things. The second best thing is Kelly Pickler, which I think is hilarious. Oh my god! And great. You're so you had one yeah, brief yeah. moment with Kelly Pickler. Now you're yeah, like best friend. It's, just, it's pickle time all the I, time. I, right? I did <laughs> pickle time. Pickle I'd time. be great if she walked I out here. Like, how dare you? <laughs> she was like, how dare you, Patel? <laughs> I was watching this on UStream, <laughs> as I do. <laughs> She's a big fan. As I want to yeah. do. Go on. Right. Well, I snuck out of the trailer today and watched her performance for about five minutes. Oh, that's where you were when we needed someone yeah. to yeah. do something with video. Yeah, I just Is that my, where you came back with a notebook full of hearts? Just paying my respects, you know. And for, for paying did your she respects? Rock it or what? She was, she was okay. Oh, oh yeah. so it couldn't wow. have been. She was, okay. she was good. And I, anyway, but worst, worst thing. thing. Worst thing. Uh, God, I had a good worst thing. Um, besides, actually, this TV is kind of the worst thing. But actually, the oh, other worst thing what? is. Why? It's great. It's broken. Right, no, 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 anyway, fine, the, fine. the real worst thing is uh, last night we were prepping for today i guess or maybe it was two nights ago and someone knocked on our door and and showed up and they were like i've got you know people often stop by the trailer <laughs> and they pitch us on things what and this I guy have... knocked on the door and he opened it and we're all sitting there and it, you know, we're all staring at him and he's like hey i just want to let you know i have the world's first touchscreen wireless router like wasn't it like a touchscreen d-link yeah and, and literally like he was walking in, like, trying to force it. Like, I'm going to give you this crazy scoop. And before he got two steps into the room, Chris Ziegler stands up, brings his computer, and is like, nope, no, you don't. There's a touchscreen router. We hit it, like, two years ago. And he walks over to the guy and is like, see you later. And then just closes the door. I, I, can I just say, can I just say, and I don't know. We, wow. didn't, follow, we didn't follow up on this. And maybe, it, maybe we were wrong. But he came back, like, a half With an a hour gun. later. No, no, and, and left the router. And said, "Here's one that's not vaporware." Wow! Whoa. <laughs> wow! So I don't know. It Throwing was a down. We were showing it's, a like a, it's like a, there's a big touchscreen router beef going on. Yeah, I don't know. Right. Oh, the worst thing. There's a whole world we don't know about. Do we, do, like the underground router but, clubs. Do, they're hopping. But we do have to stop because of the. Uh, can I just say something? 
Can I, I want to say one last thing, and then we'll, I'll wrap it up. Yeah. What do you got? Did we do our best and worst? We didn't do anything. Okay, I just want to say, I, oh, wow. can I say my worst thing yeah. about CS? And this is really personal. Oh, God. But I want to put it out in the world because I've been feeling really bad about it. After the Microsoft event, I was going down, we were going down the oh, escalator. God. I've heard this so story good. so many times. I want to tell the viewer and I want to get it out in the world because I need this man to understand what happened. <laughs> we were going down the escalator and Steven Sanofsky was behind me who is in charge of, basically in charge of Windows 8, okay? And I turned around to him, I was like, oh, I was looking for you. Do you want to come by our trailer and have a chat about Windows 8? We've got, we're all set up. We'd love to talk to you. I was very excited. And he seemed very skittish. So he did not really want to answer the question. I'm like, you know, he's like, no, we don't really have anything to talk about. I was like, no, no, it's okay. I mean, it'll be fun. It'll be totally casual. You could just talk about the design or whatever. And he got very, he seemed very upset. And he was like, you know what? It's just kind of hard to talk with, uh, just with cameras pointed at me. And I was like, what is he talking about? It's and funny. It's like he, want, he didn't want the story of your interaction with him he, but, broadcast but, to the world. But, but what happened was Jason, <laughs> Jason, well, no, but this, I just want to get, because I think that there's been a, he, now we now have a beef, me and Sanofsky are beefing, okay? So you heard the word beef, and then you thought of the Yes, story. that's yeah, what it made me exactly. think of. Okay. So, so. It's funny, because I just thought of tacos. So like, Jason, whatever. Jason, one of our video guys was shooting, like, behind the scenes, us. Girl. Yeah. And <laughs> just say barrel, <laughs> and and I forgot the camera was there, and it didn't even have audio. It was like a totally it was innocent. Yeah. It was the red, totally yeah, innocent four, misunderstanding. Like 4K, yeah. And I was like, oh no, we, we're not trying to get you in like some weird moment. And he got off the escalator, and I've now heard from other people at Microsoft that he's like pissed at me you about think he it. He might be pissed at you because you called Windows poison. You know, what? I don't know, but I think the important <laughs> thing is I want to say to Steven Sanofsky right now, mm -hmm. which one? This one, Steven. I'm sorry if, if you felt put on the spot. It was a completely unintentional thing, total misunderstanding. I apologize if you felt uncomfortable, and we would love to have you come on the show on The Verge. You're switching the window. Or any time, so any, hold on, let me windows? finish. Or any time you want to talk, we'd love to talk to you about Windows 8 or anything else, you know, like your favorite sports. Uh, and uh, I am switching to a Windows laptop immediately, so uh, just kidding. Right. But uh, but I do but I do apologize. <laughs> but I am Windows 8. Show me Windows 8, Stephen. I could be a believer. I believer. also could be a believer. And, and that's our show for the night. Uh, I want to thank everybody here. Uh, we are doing last tomorrow night. We're doing we're our last show. Us will do best and worst we're gonna do. We'll do best and worst last uh, tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, but we're also doing. We're also doing three o'clock. If you're at the show, if you're at CES, uh, and we should really put this up before that happens. <laughs> yes. um, we're. We, we told, we asked Behringer uh, to, the if they the would iNuke. bring the iNuke boom out to our trailer. They said, somehow they said yes. So they're rolling it out. We're making a playlist. It's an hour long. They're just ZZ Top. It's going to at least have some ZZ Top, but it's going to, we're just going to jam for an hour. If you want to come hang out, we're not putting people, we're not letting people in the trailer. It's just to like hang out. If we have some extra Pepsis or whatever, you're welcome to them. We're just going to like, we're just gonna listen to music on the iNuke boom for an hour <laughs> until like close CES. And I invite everybody and yeah, anybody everybody. who wants to come. I Steven don't know. Steven Sanofsky. Steven Sanofsky, if you wanna make this thing right between us, <laughs> you will come and jam to ZZ Top the iNuke boom with me tomorrow at my trailer. <laughs> and if not, we will continue to beef. We'll continue to have this East Coast, West Coast beef. And I'm fine with that. Uh, I just don't want it to end badly for either one of us. Um, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> mostly. Mostly me, I think. Uh, he, he was very upset. Uh, anyhow, again, I apologize. But uh, that's our show. I'm not even going to do the Twitter stuff. You know how to get a hold of us. I'm not naming all the. <laughs> we'll do we'll do it. We'll do a post or something. Yeah. Anyhow, that's our show. Thanks so much for watching. Everybody. Oh yeah, come on, bring it in here. Bring it in here. Come on, let's go. Oh, great show. Great show. Really good stuff. Oh God.